Happy New Year! Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew! <laughs> now that you've seen that, we're going to turn on the lights here. Yeah. <laughs> if they turn on. Oh, one turned on. Yep. Welcome to 2021! Yay! There Ooh, we go. There we go. There's two. And... Three. Yay! So... Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest mm -hmm. Atari 2600 and 7800 games broadcasting at 60 frames a second, so make sure you set it to 60 frames a second. And we have some great games for you today. Yes. Three 2600 games, uh, two exclusive mm -hmm. games, one uh, premiere, exclusive premiere. Nice. Uh, first one is Egg Venture. Mm -hmm. A game 10 years in the works. Oh, good. <laughs> um, and then the next one's a brand new one, Qbert. Um, a very advanced new Qbert that we're going to look nice. at. Nice. Um, and the third one is an update to Tapamol, which we had a lot of fun with last oh, time. Oh, so good. <laughs> is this a new year? I just remembered to start dating my checks 5781. <laughs> We're going to have to put them 5782 now. Mm -hmm. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers Armscar Coder, Catalog, Coconut81, Dianoid, DanAVC, Drexel, Goku, 1112122, Great Defender, Gretems, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Juan Urato, Carl G, Mark Space, Inc, Metal Atari 1969, Mick Muse, Miss Command, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Packrat VG, Coog2600, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Scum Software, Smitty B7800, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spice or Esmer's 2008, The Welshman 89, Tiki Dan, Gay Trek MD, and not you. <gasps> oh, Why no! haven't you resubscribed? <laughs> oh no! That's terrible. Uh, this is how I always find out and when the, I'm in the middle of streaming. And the D train just subscribed. Nice. Just like two minutes before the show. Nice. And Ground Trooper just subscribed. Yay! And you can too, very easily and for free to yeah. support the show. Um, just link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and make sure you follow us. Read my name, read my name! <laughs> I did. Just in time. Hype yeah. train! Whoa. Whoa, it's a hype train. Al Nefer oh, just subscribed wow. as well. Maybe I should grab my phone and subscribe to you. What does the hype train do? I'm never really It just sure. put th <laughs> it puts things on the screen right. and, and actually it gives you a little new icon. Does it? If you get enough. Just a random icon. Mm. So... Now that we're in a new year, I want to celebrate the amazing community that has supported Zero Page nice. over the past three years, almost. Uh, the number of people now watching the show is incredible, ever increasing. Yeah. And I would like to thank all of you. We have 714 YouTube subscribers. That's great. 972 Facebook followers. Yeah. And 591 Twitch followers. So That's every good. time we start this stream... 591 people possibly has it pop up saying hey we're on the air yeah that's yeah really so good. that's really amazing yeah um so i never expected it to get this big of course mm. with such a you know a niche community mm -hmm. <laughs> um and to have so many people actually enjoy it as well mm -hmm. um and i wouldn't be able to do it <laughs> without <laughs> all of you the checks um, <laughs> they're on the way they're in the mail yeah um and the community support, the viewers, and of course, all the developers mm. making the games that we play. Mm -hmm. um, because that's. Uh, and they keep feeding, the feeding games to, to the show. Because... And that's why we're going back to two times a week. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesdays and Fridays now that we're in the new year. Mm. Uh, now that the holidays are over, because there are so many games now that we have to catch mm -hmm. up on, especially 7,800 games. Oh my God. Mm. They're just cranking them out. Yeah, US, USPS it's is a mess. Like, yeah. there's things that just have stopped for weeks now. I know you've been complaining a lot. And just have not moved. Things you've ordered, and like they just they just sit at the border for like days yeah. and days on end. Yeah. Like, yep, they're in a big pile. We'll get to them. Yeah. Ugh, direct deposit's the way to go. <laughs> so tell us about this uh, new feature oh, that we yes. have. So this here. was. Um, uh, I enjoy making Christmas presents. This was one of my Christmas presents to James this year. Yeah. Uh, we didn't quite have it for the New Year's show, so no. I uh, I was still um, finishing the the glittery resin that you see over the front. Yeah, I'm um, gonna show it to them. Whoop, yeah, and you might as well turn off the light or um, show yeah. them the light, but uh, oh. it actually does make quite a high pitched noise. So so it can be on for con constantly. Well, I don't know if you can see it. You might wanna. 
or you can flash it. You can't really see that. Or you can flash it fast. Yeah. You can kind of see it. It's very similar to the the lovely... Um, Sparkly. Uh, a sash that I made you. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. show you up close um, on the yeah. webcam. Need to sell those on the website. Sure. It was a lot of work. <laughs> They'll be five hundred dollars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's about right. Yeah. So there it is on the fast flashing. Yeah. There you go. So it looks nice on or off. Yeah. So it looks got, nice off too. And so we've got um, all the colors, like the stripes, the rainbowy stripes. Involved me drilling into a wood board and running the el wire and then embedding it all in yeah it is el wire and it's all embedded in resin on the front so that's that's a glittery um like a like a holographic glittery resin on the front so mm -hmm. i like it turned out really nice. i really like it yeah so I like anything with glitter, to be honest. <laughs> but um, it, a it ton turned of work? out quite nice. It was well, it was it, it was a fair amount of work. I mean, figuring out how to do it. It like, took a while to. If you to, did it um, assembly line, you could probably do it really oh, yeah. quick. It took a while to to design it and figure out how yeah. we wanted it, how we wanted it to look. I mean, you knew it was coming. Oh, how did you get the L wire to stay in place while the resin set? Well, it's Great drilled. Question. It's wood, so it's a wood uh, fluid art board. So it is literally drilled into the board, and then um, I use silicone um, on the back so that the resin wouldn't drip through the holes, yeah. and then I just resin the top. So um, yeah, it wasn't even a problem. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. How do we do this? <laughs> there we go. Right. Yep. Yeah. Did I get rid of them? I think so. Oh, you have to do two things. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Um, um, yeah. So, yeah, great, amazing result. And, uh, yeah, nice addition to the studio here. Got all the colors in there. And... So let's um, open some mail. Um, I haven't opened this one. It <laughs> is from Limited Run Games. It has nothing to do with... Um... Oh, we're tiny still. Nothing to do with retro games, other than possibly a retro look to the game. Because okay. I do like buying. Yeah, games that have a retro feel too. Yeah. Too. yeah. So yeah, it the might cat be has wandered through. Retro there he is. Come here, Basil. Hi, buddy. Hi. So we've got a uh, Blaster Master Zero Two. Mm hmm. So that is a um, NES game, Blaster Master. Hmm underground little car transforming get out of your car shoot things mm. um and it blaster master zero part one as well and shantae and the seven sirens oh yeah uh, which is a great platformer series yeah um again in a, in a pixelated style like yeah a retro, retro style. pixelated style so yeah. they're really really fun yeah and and limited run games puts out a lot of indie games yeah. that are in the pixelated retro 8-bit nes genesis era mm -hmm. style of stuff so and crossbow says he's purchased quite a lot of stuff from lrg mm -hmm. as well limited so. run they have uh and their games are really good but it's oh, like yeah. you won't get a physical copy of those games otherwise so um i think see. almost all of them they're, are they're uh, wider online than... only so yeah they they usually take the online only so they're a bit wider than <laughs> An Atari cart, so they usually Slightly. don't fit in. Even the disc doesn't really fit in. So. No. <laughs> it's not really compatible, unfortunately. But, eh, they're fun to play anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and another piece of mail mm. I got uh, just today. Mm. And I was... I've been looking for one for a little while online. Cats are crazy. Mm -hmm. It is a light gun. Um, I, I I haven't seen many, like, handgun-style light guns. <laughs> well, because they're old, right? And before they... Well, this does have an orange tip. It does tip, have an orange so tip, but it's... a but little it's, newer than uh, yeah, 70s, early like, 80s uh, light that's, guns. But, like, that's not too common often. They're, they're... So it's a 9-pin. Nine, nine yeah. Um, because I didn't have a wow. uh, gun for the 7800, 2600, mm. and Atari 8-bit computers, and it does work on all those are there many atari uh light gun games no no <laughs> very few okay there are a couple 
Atari XE light gun games. I don't think there was any officially released 7800 light gun games, but there are homebrew light mm -hmm. gun games. Um, I'm still looking for the XE GS official gray longer one. Yeah. But they're about a hundred dollars. Oh wow! And I'm like, eh, I don't think you just wanted a gun. So uh, that would work. Yeah. So this will work I, in the I, meantime. That is so interesting. It doesn't work on this TV. No. It only works on, on CRTs. CRTs mm. But I do have CRTs. Um, so I can hook it up to a CRT and it works. Mm. There we go. Oh, there were. Yes, there were. Crossbow barnyard blaster for the seventy eight hundred. So, uh, Alien brigade. Yeah. Yeah. So there were some official ones. Mm. Yeah. Very cool. Um, I don't know what series or what this gun is. I like where it came from? Yeah. yeah, what the name of it is. It doesn't have anything on it, but I'll try and look it up so I can identify it. But it's not like an Atari one or no. it came in a package. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But I wanted to have one just to make sure I do in case we do play mm -hmm. any. Captain games. Classics doing your. Um... It looks like a Super Joy China knockoff that came with a Nintendo on a chip systems. Mm. You sure it works on Atari? Well, uh, that's a good question. Be just because it's nine pin mm. doesn't mean it's Atari. Mm. They did advertise it as Atari, but some of those um, Nintendo knockoff systems use the nine pin because it was cheaper and um, non-patented for their oh, uh, controller hookups. Oh, I see. Yeah. Because I have at least one Chinese knockoff uh, Nintendo system that okay. has nine pin inputs. Yeah. Yeah, well, you'll see. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, it was relatively cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to cry if it doesn't work. And, and mm. But did, yeah, the NES had, had a light gun, too. So mm. if not, then I have a light gun for the NES because mm. I don't think I have a light I gun don't... for the NES. So there Surprised, you go. Surprised, yeah. Um, so it works both ways. Mm -hmm. um, Atari 7800 update mm. uh, with my modding. Some more things came in the mail for Yay. it. Um, some shrink tubing Very for good. it because there's some bare wires hanging out inside it that I don't like hanging around yeah. inside it okay. <laughs> in case they start shifting around and um, shorting. Yeah, don't like, want that. Like I almost did with the system. Oh, yeah. And to shrink them, we got this. Yay, it's heat guns. 1500 watt uh, heat gun, which yep. is also good for your project. Yes. Um, good for and resin good, and stuff like that too. Good for shrinking uh, tubing, and it looks pretty serious. It is serious, um, and it's red. Yep, and it's red. Goes up to quite a high heat. Yeah, it's got a lot of attachments, so you can um, do all kinds of stuff with it. All kinds of stuff. Yep. So it's multi-purpose. So it was um, a good I, I addition will for both of us. I definitely be playing with that. So because you were using like flame heat before, yeah, uh, which was possibly burning. When right? I do fluid art and, and resin which which are two things i like to do yes it is adjustable yeah um i use a, a like what is it um blow torch little mini torch yeah like a mini torch that you yeah. would use for for cooking and creme brulee but those get super hot and i've burned like silicon molds and things like that so oh, they're not no. the greatest that has more you have more control over the heat yeah so. it has a heat setting even yeah. though the instructions don't match what it says on the back yeah mm. well we'll see yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so I've posted now, updated all the um, information about my uh, update, yeah. my mod to yeah. the 7800 on the Zero Page Club, Zero Page Homebrew Club on the Atari Age forums. And you can see all my uh, soldering work <laughs> if you want to look up close and chastise me. Uh, it's getting better. It does work. <laughs> I've had very, like, no failures this time in yeah. the soldering part. Excellent. Um, and all hear. the parts that I used <laughs> for modding, um, Nathan Strum recommended this brand of connector for mm -hmm. the S-Video. Um, when he used a, a, I don't know how many DIN, 7 DIN for the, um, sorry, kittens, RGB mod mm -hmm. on the 7800, and it is just solid. So if you want to look through that, you can see all the equipment I got. There, I drilled a hole, putting it through, um, and I used a headphone jack for the audio yes. rather than two RCAs. Yeah. Because it's smaller, and there's yeah. breakouts for our, for headphone to two RCAs, so why you not make You might as a, well, yeah. Yeah, might as well make a smaller one. Looks really nice. Your soldering is barely globby, <laughs> barely globby <laughs> yeah. at all. Ugh, yeah. That's a win. Yeah. 
I then the composite out. <laughs> composite out for mm. um, the composite, which it looks uh, looks really good. And some wiring. There's ball blast ball blazer that I have since destroyed. Um, there's the part that I would need to do the shrink wrap on, which is the audio yes. out. I just gotcha. need to kind of cover all of that together. Yeah. And uh, there's some more work I need to do on covering up that and using actual electrical tape instead of masking tape. Mm. Um, oh, and Pakra VG just subscribed. Thank Yay. you so much. 10 months, currently on a 10 month streak. 10 yes. out of 10. Nice. There you can see the final uh, connectors. They're not completely straight. Oh, they but look pretty good. They look yeah. good. And they work really well. And they fit well, too. I think oh, I, yeah. you were a little worried about um, the S video, but it, it seems to be fine. The clearance seems it's to be fine. It just It's clears. tight, but it's okay. It just yeah. bends enough. Yeah. And I did like it on the bottom because all the other places hi, mm -hmm. bye, um, were just really inconvenient. Um, but so n I've ordered another pokey chip because I destroyed the last one mm. and I showed it last episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, from best electronics okay and if i know some of you people out there now now where i install them oh no what that's where you install them too crossbow um if anybody has been to the best electronics website and i know some of you have <laughs> um it is uh weird electronics there we go that down okay this is their website oh my it is straight out of the uh the mid 90s is there a geo cities account <laughs> on the top spinning skulls and flames <laughs> yes. like look look at this website the, the, the visitor just... count at the bottom of the screen it might actually have a visitor <laughs> count you are visitor oh oh, oh it's oh. a broken visitor it's count. a broken visitor count you called it <laughs> anyway these awesome. guys have a ton of atari stuff yeah but they just do not care about their website mm. um and i i was like scared of contacting them because i've heard horror stories i've mm. read horror stories about people like not getting answered back or oh. they're really weird or stuff yeah um but i did contact them through email yeah it was weird <laughs> <laughs> um they warrant they have huge warnings on their website about how to type your email so that it doesn't go in their spam box but luckily i made it through the, yeah no soup for you yeah. luckily i yeah. made it through their spam filter <laughs> yeah which is apparently brutal yeah um uh, and um a pokey chip is on order oh good it is ship oh, shipped good. now i've got the tracking number I'm sure it's going to sit for weeks. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sure. So I want to do a show on Tuesday doing yeah. a 7800 show, but I don't want to play games that use the pokey chip because mm. I have um, Popeye scheduled. Well, yeah, you which were saying extensive use of the pokey. And chip. you want to hear the music. You want to hear everything it's the way it's supposed part to of be. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally, I totally get that. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm mm. going to keep track of the tracking, and see what happens. Mm. Um, but I don't have high hopes for the pokey chip showing up on Tuesday. Maybe I can play 7,800 games that don't use a pokey chip because mm -hmm. not all of them do. Mm -hmm. Gopher, Gopher does not even, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, uh, Gopher is not the same as a browser. You know, no. some people are old school. Yeah, that's really old school. <laughs> um, oh, people are saying never had an issue with best. Yeah. I guess it's just people that are not reading best's instructions mm. on how to contact them. They're very thorough about how they uh, tell you what to do. Yeah. Um, I've also started uh, tracking, now that we're in 2021, uh, all the 2600 and 7800 homebrew games. Mm. Let's see if I can, that's probably good. Uh, one more. Um, that have been released. So they're all in one place. If you ever want to see what games have been released so far mm. in 2021, under completed and works in progress. And I've added some more to it this year. So it's way more complete. So you've got the name of the game. Let me just zoom in a little bit. The name of the game, how big it is, uh, the person's name, their uh, nickname on, uh, don't hover, um, <laughs> their nickname on Atari Age forums, a link to the post where you can download the binary, the date of that binary, uh, one click to play the on binary nice. right in the browser. Nice. 
Uh, uh, Reg Venture doesn't run on Javatari? Okay, well. Uh, it'll attempt to run on Javatari. <laughs> Let's see. No. Auto failed. failed. <laughs> you are correct. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then when I last updated this listing, mm. say they've done something or added something or moved mm. it, because on some of them, they don't have a binary. Uh, let's see if I can find a... Actually, we'll go to the 7800 listing, which is exactly the same. Some of them, they have a zip file, and I can't play with this. Actually, it might play zip files, but um, I can't directly link a zip file. Some only have videos, but I've only, I think I've gotten rid of the videos. They're all gone. Um, so they, if they only have a video, I link to the video so people can watch it. Um, so yeah, look at the 7800 games. That's just in the first eight days. Uh, people have updated uh, games for the 7800. So it's crazy, crazy, crazy. It's maybe because Javatar doesn't emulate the DPC plus fully. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Um, let's try, ooh, I don't think any of these are DPC. Oh, Qbert. You don't have that oh, in there yet. Oh, because we're doing the premiere tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fair doesn't enough. doesn't exist. So there you go. Yeah. There's one with a video. Oh. And there's a link with the video, so it goes to the YouTube uh, video of it. Or it doesn't. Okay, that's a mistake. Um, anyway, lots of information. Of course, I'm showing all the faults right now in yeah. it. But that's what happens. A useful post. Yeah, people are really, really liking the posts, uh, the way this is listed out. Oh, that's good. But it's like, it's for me, but it's also super useful for but everyone you else. You might as so well post it it's if a other win -win. people will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it's also useful for the Atari Homebrew Awards. Oh, yes. Which mm -hmm. the nomination committee is in the midst of nominating uh, their favorite games. And we will reveal all the nominees next friday on this show and we are there's six each category uh this year instead of the 10 10 plus yeah so it's going to be a maximum of six yeah. so it's not super overwhelming yeah. for people to do the voting anymore mm. um and also it won't take us as long to do the homebrew awards because well, yeah. there was like 15 in some categories yeah. last it was a time. bit much yeah so i had to make these huge long videos yeah. <laughs> showing gameplay from 15 uh different uh, games and it just took a long long time mm. so we're looking forward to that it's just gonna be tanya and i most likely mm -hmm. um it is on february 6th the actual atari awards um but it should be just as nice looking mm -hmm. even with just the two of us i will be switch on the switch board mm -hmm. so it's going to be a little crazy a little bit weird <laughs> but a little bit slower in that respect because i'm gonna have to be clicking some buttons but um but you guys are going to be able to vote after we reveal the nominees next friday so the voting begins next friday mm -hmm. um starts on the 15th friday the 15th mm -hmm. just before midnight um, and ends on the 31st, just before midnight. So the end of the month. And then it's another week. Does that make sense? On the 6th? Because it's the Saturday. Uh, oh, no, you have till the 31st, which is a Sunday. Okay. That makes sense. Mm. And then uh, the Homebrew Awards are on the 6th, which okay. is a Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Fire the producer. If it goes badly, fire the producer. Yeah. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> um, so let's get to the games today. The first one is yeah, yeah, yeah. Egg Adventure um, by Urel Silks, whose name is Scumsoft on the Atari Age forums. This was first posted May 26, 2011. Long time ago. And he's been working on and off on the game since. And he is with us in the chat tonight. So if you have any questions about the game, you can send over your questions to him mm -hmm. um it's a 32k dpc plus game um this is an exclusive work in progress update literally from 2011. um we did play the games um what did we play in, uh, august 30th 2019. yeah i don't think that was before me. that i don't think that was me um your little bird you flap around you collect your eggs you bring them back to the nest Maybe. I think you did. Maybe play it. it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, that sounds. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, and this, the December 31st version, which I think is pretty close to this, but this has some updates to it. Mm. Um, this version will be posted soon mm. in the forums. 
Um, and uh, he said it's a major update more, more like, like a, a remake, remake. Yeah. Yeah, each one is very different yeah each one of them <laughs> so he's kind of just started from scratch yeah. almost on each one it's like i found a new way to do it yeah <laughs> um and uh when we played the game last time on the show um it he was alerted to that we we're playing it and he's like oh somebody's playing it they like it <laughs> and he started working on it oh, again nice. which is always nice to see yeah so it, i i I'm think excited. he's working towards finishing it up completely oh good to be able to release a final copy good so let's switch over to that and and we're going to be using because it has it it has two button controls we're going to be using uh, okay. the genesis controller if you can hold that That's a great positive influence to have on developers. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's better than a negative influence. <laughs> driving them away from developing <laughs> yeah. 2600. De developing games ever again. Okay. It was a terrible experience. Oh, you have to hold down B. Oh! It's been a long time since I've used. Because it uh, detects it as a paddle, I think. So go to today, 2021. One oh one oh eight yes, uh, all day today I had to sign things at work oh, and I was like no. twenty tw ugh, twenty one. It takes me a month. It takes me about the entire month of July uh, of uh, July of January to to switch my brain over to that one digit going from think, you know zero to one. I think that's Horrible. just about everyone. Oh. They need a month of writing and I, it out. I initial and date things all day long, oh, so like, it's it's just and like, it takes a month even with that. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, easily. Easy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is the exclusive premiere of this version of the game. Okay. Oh, there's a dragon from Adventure. Is he stealing our eggs? Let's see. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, there are some instructions. Um, okay. Left switch uh, B, basic mode, which we have it in. Um, and right switch B disables crazy mode. Mm. So we will not do crazy mode mm. right now. <laughs> Whatever that is, we'll get to it. Um, instructions on how to play. We'll get to the backstory after, so you can start playing. Okay. Uh, the joystick controls quackers, flight, left to right. Uh, down will make quackers fall faster. Okay. Up will slow his descent. Okay. Um, joystick up and fire, which you don't need to do because we've got a B button will activate power flap boost. This drains his power meter and can be only used for a limited time. Land to regain the energy. On two button controllers, um, the fire button A, normal flap, is unlimited. And uh, fire button C, he says, mm -hmm. uh, is power flap. Okay. Um, Alan, it's major, uh, I meant to work on it, procrastinate, didn't start to work on it until uh, this version until early yeah, December. Yeah, that's fine. Press fire to begin. Yeah. So let's try flapping. Okay. I, I think it's B. Oh, he stole it. Stole your egg. So we need some more volume here, that's Ooh. for sure. So. And some more volume for them. Power flap. So I remember the, if the objective is the same, you have to bring back the eggs to your nest. So let's get, oh, there you go. Power is back. Oh, what is that? Power flap. Oh my goodness. Oh. He's got a, he's got a little ring around the bottom of him for the power flap. This takes a little bit of getting used to. Oh, so you've done that one. No, you've done that. I think you've done that one because it's red. Five. I don't understand. What did I do wrong? I I think he, you already did that egg. That's oh. why it's red. Oh, you don't I, do it I again. believe, but ah. we'll get to it. Okay. B and C on Sega. Yes. Always great when homebrewer impl implement the 1982 plus Atari standards, like button to start instead of requiring game reset. Yes. Button to start. I love oh. it. Ah, ah, ah. You ran into the thing. You're a frozen. Ah! You're, you're hitting everyone. I don't think you're supposed to hit everyone. So this is the message I got from Urel. Uh, a lot has changed since the game's inception in 2011. 
Um, artwork has com been completely redone and improved greatly. Ah, ah. And he stole it. What if we go off so, the screen and go back on? So Does it come back? do I die if I land for too long? It goes red. I think that's your power meter. Let's go back. Oh, yeah, it's back. Okay. Yeah, but he he goes after you so fast. Is there a way to I kill him? I remember that bat being really fast in the original, too. I think you have to go, go, go. Oh, I don't know how you would even do that. That's crazy. Uh, levels have been improved and more were added. The intro and ending sequences have been greatly ah, improved. Ah, there are now secrets. Ah, stop it! There are now secrets to discover and multiple endings to achieve. Uh, puzzle items and logic has, have changed and some are red herrings. <gasps> Oh, uh, Taken Muncher. Thank you. Token Muncher? Token Muncher. Nom, nom, nom. Um, is now following. Thank you for enjoying the show. So, am uh, I dying? What does that mean when I'm... when I'm? You're a frozen chicken. Red, 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 yeah. Oh, you build up your power meter by sitting on the floor. Now you're green again. I don't know why you're blue all the mm. time. Oh, because I got touched by the water. Being wet will make your player heavier and harder to fly. So you're... Oh, how you're do I dry? That's a good question. Can I? Maybe you have to go back to your nest. <gasps> oh ah! my god, it comes after you. Oh, you're better now. Yeah. Uh, gameplay mechanics Goodness. have been greatly improved. You no longer die touching the play field. It was brutal. Um, and can even land. Although Quackers, the main chicken character, is picky where he lands. Antagonizing that I, I don't know green what it blob? Is. <laughs> I don't know what it is either. It's like a f frog, maybe? Um, landing will allow quackers to gulp down air, making him light enough to fly. This is indicated by the power meter in the bottom right of the screen. That trip is awesome. It even has a splash at the bottom. Yeah, it's nice. And <gasps> now you're heavier. Oh well, doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> so I cannot, I've not figured out how to... Uh... Get this one. Well, you must have to move just super fast. I think you have to grab and run. Don't land softly. Like, already be flying. Like, go, go, go! I don't know how to... <laughs> Can I kill him? Oh, if I maybe. hit him? Or... Maybe. What is going on? Well, you have to hit him. You're hitting, well, the, I... you're hitting the corner. I'll just get my power back. Uh, he can bounce around giving him a speed boost. Listen to this. Yeah? You can bounce around giving him a speed boost. This is a deliberate ma game mechanic and might be required to solve some puzzles. No. So you might need the speed boost here. I don't know. Oh god, what just happened? You're in Never Never Land. The lights went out. Is this a bug? I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm trying to land, but... It's very bouncy. There's a whole thread on Atari Age about the mascot for the 2600. Quackers is a pretty good one. Oh, you made it back. Oh, did oh. you fly up there? No. That's weird. I don't know what happened there. That oh. was kind of bizarre. Go fly back up there. Do you fly into the no, sky? No, I couldn't. Oh, you can't. No. Uh, the collision detection tries really hard to, from, to, to keep you from getting stuck. The screens are really great. You keep hitting the floor. I'm trying not to bounce. There we go. Oh, you lost all your power to gain it all back. Um, if Quackers finds himself not wanting to move because he found a nice comfy spot to be lazy in, then pressing the game select switch will respawn him back in the chicken coop. Oh, this will not use up a life if playing in the fuller crazy game modes. That is funny. That's a, it's a good way to, re, to explain away um, the character got stuck in the game. Oh, just... Oh, almost! Oh, almost! Oh, uh, watch out. Oh, you're already wet. Doesn't matter at this point. Oh, it didn't come back. There it there is. Go. Some funky gameplay going on. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. That area is to correct some room change collisions that I cannot correct. So that's intentional, this the moon room. Oh. Hitting your head. Poor little chicken. There, bounce and go. There you go. There you go. Not oh. fast enough. Do it faster. Ah. Just slam against it. Grab that and go. Um, Just fall to the... What is that? Fall oh. to the center, which you did. Yeah. So the left switch, basic mode, which we're in, 
Uh, this mode has unlimited lives, and the puzzle items are given in a linear sequence. They can they can be skipped if not wanted. Oh, I don't know how to I don't know how to get them. The bounce super fast. Yeah, but Just I would have fly. to go from one side. Oh my goodness! Come on. Just fly super fast, like right from there. Get my power. Back. Gulp. Some great animation going on in this game. Uh, there's only one ending allowed in this mode, and the extra level areas and sequences are not available. Keep things short and simple. Great for ah, learning the game mechanics. It. So you're on the basic mode. Which <laughs> he is, just keeps bouncing back and forth. You're going too fast upward. There we go. No, because he bounced upward. See? I can't land. I'm not doing anything, <laughs> but he's bouncing. But some places you comfy. land. He, he's on the edge. Yeah, but I was on the edge on the other screen, so it's kind of, it's a little, it's a little different. Oh, actually, I'll... I don't know how to go fast enough. You would have to just keep bouncing. Just bounce. Right into the egg and take off. Yeah, but that's what I did before. I went as fast as I possibly could. Oh, goodness. Stop it. Left switch Stop on bouncing. A. Stop bouncing. Left switch on A, full game mode. This mode only has five lives, but allows for the full game experience. The items and puzzles are not linear. All puzzle sequences are available and all endings are achievable. <gasps> oh, you still have it? Oh. No. The bat likes eggs. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Silly. Hint, the red egg might be the key. <gasps> oh, what? Oh. I know what you have to do. What are you doing? Oh, Go do I have to get the red egg? egg? Yeah. And uh, distract him with the red egg. Then, once he has the red egg... You, but you only have seven seconds to do something with the red egg, it looked like. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we don't know what happens when you... The seven seconds runs out. Uh, the right switch. Um, crazy mode, setting it to A. This mode allows changes the level layout to be more challenging. There are a few added surprises awaiting. All endings and secrets are achievable in this mode. Mm -hmm. In this mode, full game mode is not automatically enabled. You can thus practice the mode with unlimited lives and linear puzzle items or enable full game mode, left switch A, and play a real challenge. Ah, oh. Stop bouncing! Oh. oh, goodness. Two, one. Uh, it doesn't take very long. So you have to get there pretty oh, quick. Oh, that's really quick. Oh, there's a pause on the game. Color black and white. Reset does what it says it does. Resets the game. Note, during the ending sequences, the reset and joystick fire buttons are disabled mm. until the ending reaches the state of looping, at which time pressing reset or holding down the fire button will reset the game. Very smart. Tapping will not reset it for you. Oh, I hope you enjoy this much improved version of the game. Be sure to reset the game or power on and off when changing the game switches on another mode. You want to try? Sounds I'm finding it very frustrating, so... <laughs> Okay. That likes eggs, eh? It's very bouncy. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can try using the power. I think I think I need to play with that a little bit more. Yes. You want to get your power up. There. Yeah, you have no power, so. See, you bounce back. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's it's pretty challenging. This chicken is bouncy. See that? And then... Yeah, you can't, you can't. Once ah. you start bouncing, it's terrible. Oh my god. Oh, I'm wet now. Oh, stop bouncing. Maybe you're better off wet. Sometimes being, I found it easier to fly around heavier than lighter. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Up. Sorry, everybody watching us. It's challenging. Mm -mm. Stop bouncing! Mm -mm. You have to go... You have to... You can't <laughs> bounce. You have to... <laughs> well, the power just went down, and then it went up again. Very strange power meter. Oh, my God. Stop bouncing. Go! Oh. Use, the, use the C. Yeah, but then I don't want to use the C. Yeah. I guess I have you to get over there You haven't picked up the first. egg yet, so... Yeah, just just get your power back up. Nope. Yeah, I find the power doesn't doesn't <laughs> lift you up very fast. <laughs> the world must be made of rubber. <laughs> the main it's a rubber chicken. 
<laughs> waiting to say, see James fail repeatedly at the spider. Well, you know, we're going to leave that spider egg alone. Or, or leave the uh, bad egg. For now. The bad egg, not yeah. the spider egg, sorry. Yeah, leave the bad egg. That That's very challenging. Maybe you can kill the bat at some point. I don't know. Oh, stop bouncing. Oh, the gravity in this world is so low. We're on the moon. And then you go bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, my God. <laughs> this world <laughs> is made of rubber. You have to fall through. You have to oh push my... up. Remember, you have to push up so you slow your fall. Oh. Ooh. There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, it's I bet so you bouncy. can land on the bottom there and get your power back. Oh no, you can't. How do you just land? That's a little... No, it, it, it will only land in places it can land at. That's a little bit strange, Scum Software. <laughs> is somewhere... In certain places, it does look like... <laughs> just bounces. <laughs> it looks like you should be able to land. Hey, watch this. He's bouncing higher. <laughs> higher and I'm doing nothing. He just gets higher. <laughs> It's the bouncy rubber chicken game. I love it. It's a rubber chicken. He's a Hold rubber chicken. Hold regular flap and press down on the D-pad to control. Oh, can he only land on yellow? No. No. No, no, no. What dictates his landing? Like, I don't know. Do you have to slow enough? Is it like a lunar lander situation? I don't know. Do I have to press up to land? Do I have to press down to land? Nope. Down makes him bounce faster. That landed. So what dictates it? Is it the speed? Okay, let's try it from I here. I said he was very picky. <laughs> the, the chicken's very picky? Yeah, yeah, he is. He is super picky. Oh, he's, he's fine sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, now he's not landing. Oh my God, he's super picky. Great character design and it's animation. It's so cute, though. Oh my Get goodness. up there. Oh, up. Okay, I'm going to try the, the spider. He tried to kill me, so... That's true. Maybe they, I can... They're, they're quite... Catch it on the way down. And then he goes after you! And then, <laughs> there you go. Spider not bites. Any, not wet anymore. I'm not going to get doused with water this time. I think the... Oh. I think the earlier versions of this game were easier. This is crazy. Are you in crazy mode? What was the no, crazy, crazy mode? No, crazy mode is you die. You have five lives. Oh. Or maybe this is crazy mode where you don't die? I don't know. Oh, I have no power left. <laughs> this chicken's very heavy. He is heavy. Oh, land! Land! Land, bouncy chicken! <laughs> oh my god. This game is crazy. <laughs> no, no, no! No, 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 no. There we go. No! It's like controlling something on the moon. <laughs> and the moon is made of rubber. <laughs> You're in underground caves. Uh, he landed there. Isn't that funny? Go to the left. What's the left? Let's see. Let's explore. Yeah. So at least people can see the... I haven't been to the left. Oh, it's green. Is it slime? Oh, that kills you for Acid? sure. Acid? Acid? That's death for sure. That's death? Mm. Yeah. Played enough games where the blue is... Oh, ah! what? <laughs> it dripped five times from the middle and it's now over there. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, I like this game. <laughs> it's, it's very entertaining. It's definitely more of a puzzle. It is, but it's very challenging. The movement is super challenging. Oh, oh, oh. They still have to oh, make it all the oh, way. Oh, I don't know how you do that. <laughs> That's so hard. That's so hard. Like, that was the best run I had with the egg. Yeah. Unless you put... Oh, maybe you carry the egg to the... Uh, do you kill the, um, uh, the lizard in that other screen? Oh, maybe. See, see, bring the red egg to the lizard. Okay. See what happens. Because the lizard's just hanging out there at the top. If you click, just click the power. It doesn't yeah. use it up Go up much. to the moon and use your power. Oh, maybe. Nope. Nothing. I don't think you can interact with that. Oh. Eh, it was worth a try. And the counter's still there. Is that how many lives I have? It's like joust times thrust. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because joust is really bouncy. 
really bouncy. And back you go. I love how it just hurdles you back to the previous screen if you move too fast. I don't quite get the power either. I'm not sure. I guess you don't have the power, the I power don't have flap. Right now. But um, there we go. He landed. And why does the power like start at, like, why is it going down and up? Mm -hmm. Am I using it up right now a little bit? Mm -hmm. hmm. Bouncy, bounce, bounce. And you get, oh, you lose your power by bouncing. Yeah. Your, and by also hitting. the power thrust, or, or by maybe using, not. Yeah, yeah. By using it. You really have to use the power to navigate. Yeah, you do. So I think that's mm. one of the secrets to the game. You you have to constantly use go the power. Go to the go to the right now, or or do you want to do you want to go around the back. acid? No, um, I think we hit a dead end to the left. See, you landed there. Uh, in some spots. <gasps> come on, come on, no, 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 come on. <laughs> okay, on the way down. Flat, 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 flat. Come on. Oh no, I can't land there. This is yeah, random acid. Oh, get get, get out of there. Go down. Go down. No. Get, oh. No, I thought it was a dead end. It is a dead end. Yeah, because the bottom is is brown, not open. Mm. There's. It looks like a castle though. So maybe there's a way to get in the castle. Because it is like adventure, right? So. It is. Yeah. So, Ooh, a snake. Is that a snakey? Snake is the snakey going to attack you? So, so well, far... Well, this one looks like it's more open than the others. But so far, all the baddies go after you. Hooray! An egg that I could possibly take back. As the acid doesn't get me. Hooray! Ooh, maybe that... Up and to the left there. Bat will get me, even though <gasps> I just have this oh, egg. Oh, no. I don't know. What is that thing? Fire? Uh, it looks like a cat. A, a cat waving? <laughs> a hand? A mangled hand? Oh, no turns. Oh, it's watching oh, it me. It looks like a kitty. It does look like a kitty on its hind legs. Come on. Where are our kitties? Kitties, where'd you go? I don't have power. Can I land oh. with the egg and gain uh, power? Maybe. Not, these, all of these here. spots, you bounce, 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 so. I think he's just picky. Nope. Can't. Can you use the power thrust? Oh, <gasps> he does! No. Faster! Oh, get the other egg! Oh, oh, come on. Is he going to steal this one too, as soon as I get it? No, the red one. Oh! <sighs> I think you do have to kill him. You cannot, yeah. You have to use the red egg yeah. to kill him, but I, eight seconds is not enough. It's just not enough. That may need to be increased. A little uh, bit. Yeah, this, because I don't know how you would ever, because you bounce back like that. If you bounced off in, in an appropriate direction, you might <laughs> be able to do it, but it's crazy. Unless there's some other trick involved. And... Yeah, because if you move uh, too fast. I need my power right from here. I need all of it. Okay. I don't know how you get there in time. You cannot land when, oh, carrying an item. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, thank you. That does help. Okay, explode. No! I don't want it. I need to get full power when I have this egg. Let's explode over here. Okay. Gulp. Gulp. <laughs> Gulp. He <like> swallows. <laughs> yeah. He's so cute. Okay, let's... Uh, Go for no. get, getting it while uh, while going fast. While, while moving, yeah. But then you're just gonna bounce. Yeah, you bounce vertically. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, go down. Yeah. See, this is annoying. Uh. If you if you actually if it if it actually bounced like a uh, horizontal plane. Uh, yeah. No, I was gonna say like a um, a cue ball or something. Oh. Well, nope. <laughs> yeah, what happens if you drop that egg near the green lizard dude? You can't actually drop it. No. So I think I think something has to steal it from you, yeah. right? Like you want the bat to steal it can't from you, it. but I don't know how you get to it. Get it to the bat in time. It's you so short. You should try holding down the flab button. Just use the D-pad up and down to control quackers. Mm. 
up and down. If I hold the mm. flap button, oh, hold the no, flap. No flap. Up and down. Oh. A little bit better. If, okay. Is it a lot better? It's a lot better. It's not gonna get me there though. Yeah, too high. I don't know how you get there in eight, it's, eight it's seconds. It's hard. Because you, you have two be wet, rooms though. to go through. Yeah. You have to go rooms. boom. In eight seconds. In eight seconds. Let's try that theory. Probably want your... No, once, once, once that happens, <laughs> you get over. stuck. Yeah. Uh, okay. I want my full... Power. Power. Ah! Oh my god. Yeah, he doesn't bounce like a cue ball. He just reverses his horizontal mm -hmm. and vertical directions. So if you're coming in that way, you'll always bounce back. Mm. Okay. Nope. Three seconds left after I, mm. like, I don't think I can. Forget the egg. I'm going to try and do can this I in five, eight seconds. One, two, three, <laughs> four, and wet. Five, six, <laughs> Seven, and I'm not even eight. Yeah. It's that needs more time. Mm -hmm. You have to do it too because you can't get any eggs back with that bat there. No. You have to kill he that. Guards bat. the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> he guards the whole place. He'll yeah, just steal that's your a harder... little bit hard, I think, with the timing. Yeah. I actually don't think the timing should be there because it's kind of one of those things you, you need to figure out, so... Well, how do you get unfrozen? Do you have to go back to your nest? Yeah. Oh, there you go. just in yeah. nest area. Yeah. Okay. Uh, power. I'll let you try after one more try. Yeah. I'm going to give it a try. I was wondering about the moon movement. Yeah. It's kind of cool, though. Oh, I love the moon Oh, it uh, bounces. Skim software. I practice it too much. It's become super easy for me to play. Yeah, I think that that can become a problem because sometimes. One, zero. I haven't even yeah. made one screen. Ah. <laughs> it's so hard. Uh, and that's why you beta test. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would. I would just get rid of that counter. I don't know. Like, it's a puzzle, but then it's also challenging as well as being a puzzle. What is the goal? Uh, to get all the eggs back to your nest, I believe, unless it's changed. Okay. Yeah, see that, even that like tiny little bounce as you hit the Ugh, bottom. Forget it. As soon as you bounce, it's over. Yeah. One bad bounce, it's over. There's just not enough time. <laughs> He's comfortable landing there. Yep. He's picky. Sometimes just a claw on the edge is enough for him. That's seven. That's seven. In the top left. I don't know. Oh, the eggs left, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think we've seen like three, four. Oh, there you go. There you go. Still have a whole screen to make it through. Three, two. Oh, you did it. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay, it's possible. It's hard, though. It was not easy, right? Oh, no. But <laughs> uh, it's all about lining it up so you can go straight through. So big round of applause, <laughs> Tanya. Oh, my God. That's insane. What? There you go. What? Smoosh. <laughs> Hit you on the head. Now it's down to six. Oh, you got some yay! Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to play? Yes. Now that the bat's gone. Now See, we, this now is done the this hard is part. the great thing about playing games with two people. Yeah. I can watch you and think. <gasps> oh, I bet that gets you into the castle. Yeah. Or into the adventure guy, the dragon. Um, I feel like watching someone play gives you ideas about what you're gonna do. That's the wonderful thing about watching Twitch live streams. Yes. You get ideas. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan Strom. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, we know who the better player is. <laughs> I'll 
on that one level <laughs> in this I, game. You know what? I got the it's egg just... and the bat is gone. We can now proceed forward. Relax. So it's all good. <laughs> until the spider area. Yay. Because the spider just as bad. It chases you too. Yeah. It just takes a second. It's either this one or the one no, or that to the there left, do you There's think? There's a dot now. Oh. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Oh, what the hell? Oh. oh, there's an egg. Yeah, but I got... Don't oh, did get it acided. Oh, it destroyed it and opened an area. And right? get it. And ooh, watch the acid. Oh, gotta get higher. Uh, there you go. So is this a shortcut over here? Mm, you can try. Ugh. See where it leads you. Oh, you're so heavy. <laughs> yes. Heavy My and feathers. Wet. Are all wet. Oh, God. oh no, no, that's not. No, not but yet. it opened that area so yes. you can get there. Now. Yeah, you gotta get the egg back. Oh, 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 don't die though. <sighs> I think those acid is that's all random. It seems to be very random. So then up. This should be a clear path. And then that other egg is also yeah. a clear path. Uh, it's just bounce, water, bounce. though. It is just water. It just makes you heavy. I like that idea, though. That concept's it's really cute. Very unique. And he turns blue. <laughs> uh. I guess I didn't really notice it, him being blue, but you probably notice it more with the egg. Oh. Are you heavier? There you, you go. You are when you're blue. Yeah. Five oh, more to go, funny. and I think we've seen. F <gasps> what is that? this? This is like this secret area that you get everything. What's the sea? Hmm. I don't think that was in the original. Or the other two versions. What happens when you bring it back to the nest? Or... Oh. Oh, now you're wet. Go back to the it's, nest. It's actually fine that you're blue because you get a little bit more control, actually. There's a little bit of screen bounce here and there. Yeah. But not much. Scum Software says, The gameplay is like Ellium or Lunar Lander. You don't want to just fall fast and collide. Yeah. No. Control of the chicken is key. Yeah. That comes with practice, yeah. My well, word. that's the thing with holding the button and moving the D-pad. Yes, it just, that opened up. It makes it all, yeah, it makes it work. A whole world Otherwise of you possibilities. Start, if, you, if, you, if you're hitting the button, you just start bouncing off everything. So, so maybe on him? Mm, What's a C? I don't know. What do you think a C is? I'm going to bring it to the cat. The or cat? whatever it is. The, the one that opened? Why yeah. is it all shaky? Um, it's line count. He said there's some, oh, okay. some, some line count I feel like I feel like we're having a... Um, Maybe drop that on him. Want it? No. 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 Maybe I'll exchange it for the egg up here. Yeah. I'll try anyway. We'll see what this guy does when I take his egg. Nothing. No, because you have that, so you have to. Did ah, you try with the adventure stuck. guy? Ah. Stuck. Hold the button. Hold the button. Hold it. No. Ah, it's getting worse. <laughs> it's getting worse. Ah. <laughs> okay, stop. Kitty does not want a copper egg. Ah, it's a copper egg. Oh. Ooh, ooh, that was getting a bit rough. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. the, that guy? No. Maybe. Put on his nose. Does the dragon want a copper egg? Maybe. Maybe the spider wants a copper egg? <laughs> That's a possibility. Let's yeah. try the spider next. Because the spider will chase me. Uh, if you're bouncing like that, just let go and the, his velocity will roll off. Okay. Here, spidey, spidey. Oh, you know. Ah, don't touch me. Oh, it's okay. Uh, okay. Oh, you can't get him. Can't interact so with the spider. So that's not going to work. And I need to find if somebody wants this egg, because I can't get rid of it. No. Well, there's a snake over here. Well, so. maybe the snake wants a cover egg. Ah, ah. Ooh, it's getting rough with the C. Nope. Oh, oh. jeez. <laughs> well, we now know he kills you. So should I bring the C? I probably I... should in, into that new room. Figure out what. Maybe that thing wants it. <laughs> what is that thing? I like. I like. Is it a cricket? Oh, did you hear it? Yeah. Went, doo -doo. It's a cricket. Or grasshopper. Oh, you're done. No power. Uh... <laughs> there you go. I don't know how you get rid of that. 
You see? Yeah. And you find the thing that I wants mean, it. you have eggs to get, so I you do. could you could avoid that for now. But um it's not if the I lose kitty. It, I won't. Or whatever that is. The red uh red thing. The red thing. Red demon. Red demon. You have to write in the instructions that you're on the moon. <laughs> otherwise... Well, no, it's just is it's just the chickens flying dynamic, like. <laughs> so just the way it flies. Yeah, it's it's how it works. That's how uh, he flies in the caverns. I mean, the fact that the chicken is flying at all is pretty impressive. It is. They can fly, just not super well. Uh, they just kind of jump, really, chickens. <gasps> okay, let's okay, go, go up, up here. So we haven't been here yet. No. It's rough. Whew, there's a lot. Of, uh, it's the it's the, oh, it's the man. dude. <gasps> Put it in his hand. Do it. Nope. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good stuff. A ham chickens cannot fly. <laughs> they can fly. No, they cannot. Not very well. They have wings. <sighs> That's the problem here. <laughs> Maybe not modern chickens. Wild chickens can fly. I don't know. Is there such a thing? Well, uh, not much anymore. <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure they've been um, bred very out of existence. inbred. Yeah. Bred out of existence. They kind of jump and flap their wings. They do. Poor little guys. Mind oh. you, uh, penguins can't fly either, so. No. But they're very swim. good swimmers. Oh, yeah. They can swim really well. Yeah. Go. Good job! Yay! It's Happy funny. yellow chicken! It's funny how it, it goes through the screen. Boom. Yeah. Four more to go, and I think we saw all four. Did we? I think oh. we have seen all four. And the bouncy bounces. Uh. No! Wet chicken. <laughs> wet chicken! Yeah, I am totally fine with the wet chicken. He's 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 slower. But he's it almost makes him easier to control. Yeah. Except right there. For some reason, that particular entrance point is. Uh... So I mean, we know we know there's a spider. Let's we know the, there's yeah. We know where cat. all of them are. Yeah, we'll see what the cat does. Or if it is a cat. As soon as we steal his egg, he's yeah. probably gonna activate. He's like, hey, 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 hey! It's my egg. No, no, he's cool with it. Okay. Take... Does, he, does he follow you? Maybe he follows you. Maybe. No, I haven't seen him. <laughs> like Pitfall, in the next version of this game, the chicken will have to swim through an underwater level. <laughs> yes. That would be awesome. Swimming chicken. Underwater chicken. He suddenly morphs into a penguin. He... he. Uh... How many games have swimming in it in the 2600? Oh. I know... Are there any? Jungle Hunt. No, there Hunt. must be. Jungle Hunt has okay. swimming. Does Pitfall? No. Pitfall 2? Like a person swimming, not a machine. Uh, not like... A, a fish? Oh, no, not fish. Like, because there's oh, flower. Should I get it? Probably should, because I'd have to back. So, who it. would want a flower? Spider? No, doesn't seem like Snake? it would. Snake might. Want a flower. Ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> you can't get past there without. Stop you it! You can't get your power back either. Hold it! Hold it! I am. There. There you go. You have to hold it on the way down. Mm. Because it, I keep holding it Jungle on the way hunt. up. Yep. Sequest Jungle wouldn't hunt. count. No, yeah. not Sequest. A person or a thing uh, swimming. And not something that's supposed to be in water like fish. Kind of. Oh, God. Is that what I want to? Oh. So are those trying to steal it and I'm not supposed to let them and make it through each screen without letting them? Because I have to make it somewhere first. The spider, maybe? Uh, go. Spider? Oh, no, no. You won't no? be able to take it to the it spider. It won't cut the spider? No? Because the guy's... Oh, maybe it can't be there either. He's going to get it for yeah, sure. Yeah, go, go, go. Maybe he cuts the spider. Oh! Yeah! See, I told you. <sighs> told you it was a spider. Nice work. Oh, and it oh. opens up. Let's check it out. Oh, shortcut! Oh, nice! Oh, thank goodness. Woohoo! Now you don't have to go around anymore. Oh, that's good. Ah. Yeah, I knew that. That made sense. I was like, what goes with 
flowers, spiders more so than snakes. So. We plan on beating the game tonight, but I think we if might we be able to, because well, there's only a couple left. Most of the challenge was essentially the, getting that first bat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the cup. The cup, and that's for the, for the dragon. dragon. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then that leaves the snake. Yep. Um, but this is just the easy mode, keep in mind. Yeah, that's fair. There's a lot more that's fair. hidden... Fair, fair, fair. Oh, you have to control him. Yes. You have to hold it. I don't understand why you're not holding it going through there. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have to hold it going through those parts. So you're the expert at this. I am. <laughs> Are you not going down that hole? Oh, I forgot. There's a shortcut now. Yeah. So used to not having that shortcut. Here you go. Want it on your nose or you want it here? There you go. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Survival Island guys swimming. Survival. Oh, yes. Is that the one you'd swim closer and closer to the island and you pick up raft pieces? Mm. That's a very cool looking game. Mm. I've only played it a very tiny bit and there's sharks in the water. Like the concept is so good. Oh, stop Hold the bouncing. It. Hold it. So you don't have to worry about the water. James obviously did not do well in chicken mechanics in college. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I failed out of yes. chicken mechanics. <laughs> uh, the, the course was full. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get in. Chicken mechanics 101. <laughs> One more. One. <gasps> oh, what is that? A snake. You it's drop a, that on the snake. It's a fork. Mm. It's a sigh. It's a bounce, bounce, bounce. Rake. Yeah, I made it through. Okay, that time. Yeah, there's always a waiting list for Chicken Mechanics 101. Well, you look at the title. Uh, Everyone wants into Chicken Mechanics. Yeah, you never get the section you uh, want, either. No. It's always, like, uh, 6 p.m. on a... Oh, my a God, it's shooting. Oh, 6 p.m. on a Friday. Ugh. Oh, we gotcha. That one moved. The first two shots didn't move. They were in a straight mm. line, and the third one moved. Chicken Mechanics 101. <laughs> <laughs> It tracked you. Yeah, it, it did. did. A little bit. The third so shot tracked me. maybe you just me. need to... That is a sophisticated snake. Agreed. I just gotta move quick. Like, maybe go maybe for it, get like. your power. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Oh, he's not shooting you now. Thank God. Why? Oh, oh now, now he is. is. Drop it. Oh, no. Did I not get him? Mm. It was so close. It was really close. Do you have to drop it on him? Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe you don't need that. Maybe you can just maybe you just get the egg and go. Mm, maybe. I but don't you know. can't pick up an egg when you have but something. But what is that? Yeah. So how maybe you don't need that yet. Oh wet <laughs> wet chicken. <laughs> Poor wet chicken. Oh Oh god. That's stuck. Poor wet chicken. <laughs> Spend ninety percent of his time wet in this game. <laughs> It's chicken. not having a good time. <laughs> no, okay. it's not a fun time for the chicken. Level out. Level out. There we go. Go get that snake. Oh, you got him. She's got a... Oh, stop. Oh, stop. stop. Hold, stop. It. hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now, I'm going to take it back because yeah. up there is... Dangerous. Snake. Oh, no. Up there, you've already done. Is the pitfall dude. Yeah, and you've already done him. Yeah. I'm glad you have a little exit here. Oh, yeah. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> After playing a while, you get a whole, you get a handle on the mechanics of yeah. how to steer this chicken. It's still not super easy, but it shouldn't be. But it gets better. Yeah. A lot better. Yeah. It's like Lunar Lander. You it get is. used to it after a while. Is that the last one? Oh. Oh, they're going to hatch the little <gasps> baby chickens. Yay! Oh. What is this chicken's name? Peepers? What's his name? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's a dragon. It's a duck. <laughs> That's the joke. He's always a duck. What was that? Back. 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 He's teaching him how to talk. Back. Bacock. 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 What is his name? You got the bad ending. Oh, no. Oh. It's Quackers. Quackers. Quackers the chicken. 
The bad ending. Oh no. Cute. Start it over. Oh, that's very nice. cute. Need to add a Tari box. Uh, yeah, sounds. maybe. Yes. That's awesome. That's such a cute <laughs> it's game. Cute. Once we got the bat, it got a lot easier after that. <laughs> now, this is just the basic game. It's very cool. There's more to this. There's yeah. secret areas oh, that we have not discovered. We okay. Yeah, how can that be the bad ending? There's a little baby dragon. Yeah. <laughs> That's super You've awesome. You've got the, um, the cuckoo in the egg. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's the implication, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, adventure. Super awesome. Yeah. Um, I, good. I'm guessing Scum Software is going to post this version nice. um, soonish. Um, we did find some screen jitter. Some there definitely count. was a little bit. It did Mostly make it, it feel the like there was, was the an underground uh, earthquake going on. So it's the copper egg. Mostly. Yeah, shook it. actually. Yeah. And also with the egg going into this, the snake screen when or not the egg, the, um, the, the fork thing the fork thing. So any time you're carrying something. And there's a there lot of other things issues, on the screen. Yeah. Yep. But other other than that, it was it looked really good. Oh yeah. So there is much more to it. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. And we'll revisit it mm -hmm. um, and play the longer version now that we're um, mm -hmm. we're more adept at it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we're going to change to this other controller now because I think it's going to be better. Maybe. I think it will be for this for the next game, for which is game? Hubert. Ugh. World premiere. Of Cubert. There you go. We have some things to look at first. Okay. Because um, we're going to take a little trip back to the arcade version of Cubert. Mm -hmm. Just to remind everybody what that looks like and sounds like. So let's go to that. Boom. Uh, YouTube. Um, so this is Cubert. 1982 from the arcades. Um, Cubert is an arcade game developed and published for the North American market by Gottlieb in 1982. So let's start this up. And actually, I'm going to make sure I don't destroy all your ears. Turn down the volume. You're welcome. Hello, hi, Greenhouse. And it's got a lot of voices. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, voice sounds, especially yep. when he dies. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm hoping the developer eventually puts in Atari Vox. Um, mm -hmm. He doesn't know how to use it, but some people pointed to <laughs> where he can find out how to do it. Yeah. Um, it's a 2D action game with puzzle elements that uses isometric graphics to create a pseudo 3D effect. The object of each level in the game is to change every cube in a pyramid to the target color by making Cubert the on-screen character. Let's get it turned down a little bit. The on-screen character hop, hop on top of the cube while avoiding obstacles and enemies. Players use a joystick to control the character. The game was conceived by Warren Davis and Jeff Lee. Lee designed the title character and original concept, which was further developed and implemented by Davis. Cubert was developed under the project name Cubes. Mm. And really, really nice graphics for the time. Really detailed, um, shaded Just characters. Very interesting with the um, diagonal movement and, and the... Yes. So it had a 45 degree angle joystick. Effect. Yes, yeah. So every home implementation, you always had to turn your joystick mm. by 45 degrees yourself, obviously. So in the first level, you have to change them all to yellow. Yes, and then it, and it's it, multiple. And it does after. tell you what you need to change it yeah, to. It goes back and forth. Yeah. And on some levels, you have to hop on them twice. And those little spinny circles are escape routes yep. um, that you can escape from the snake, mostly. There he goes. And he follows you even if you're long gone. So he's very, very silly. Mm. Um, he joined the Jari Vox Club already. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's because his version absolutely needs Atari Vox because there's so much talking in it. Like mm. when he goes, ah, and the intro and everything else. And when he gets mad. Um, so we're going to take a look at the first implementation of Qbert on the 2600. Oh my God, it's a tight car. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a lot, lot bigger than the normal cartridges. Mm. Um, so, 
This is um, one of the two versions of Qbert. I do have the other one, which is a Parker Brothers um, version. Version, mm. which has a different cartridge design. Mm. The label is falling off, and I didn't want to move yeah. it around too much. That's enough for the background. <laughs> um, so we're going to take a look and play very quickly um, the 2600 version of Qbert, so we can compare. Mm. Actually, use the harmony. That one's so so stiff. Mm. Mm. Ready. Okay, so go for it. <sighs> Kohog said, I thought I hated this game on the 2600 because Cuber never went where I told him. Then I realized you need to rotate the joystick mm -hmm. 45 degrees. That is correct. Oh. Uh, which one did you load up? Cuber. Just by itself? <laughs> the one that said Cuber. <laughs> Just not in the directory? Here's in the directory. Oh, no, this is the wrong one. Oh. Not in the directory. I need to load up the original of Qbert. Oh. Just gave them a sneak preview. Oh, sorry. You didn't tell me. It. You didn't tell me where to look for it. Where am I looking for it? Same directory. Uh, 20, ah. 2021. Ah. <laughs> Don't rotate it. Qbert, there one. Not that one. Oh, so the bin. Bottom. Okay, yes. yeah, I did the upper one. Uh. So, this is the 2600 version of Qbert. Uh. Um, and it, and it was actually a pretty decent version of Qbert. It's got um, got the main characters <laughs> done on purpose. It's got all the main characters. Are you actually playing? Yeah. Or is that the demo? No. Oh, okay. But the characters move kind of like an LCD game. Like they have, n they animate in place. Oh, I do that all the time. But they don't move like from from thing to thing like Hubert does. They just kind of like jump if you watch yeah. them. And also there was a there's a very <laughs> jump right into them. There's a very weird split down the middle of the of the of the pyramid. D Train asks, can somebody explain why the pyramid is split? That's a very good question. It's probably I would I would guess you can get that green thing. Which green thing? That doll it's gone. Oh or you can hop off. Is the, the green pyramid. thing good? Yeah, all the green things you can touch. E e they're bad bad guys, too. No, the bad guys are red. No, there's a bad guy green jumping around. Nope, you can get him. You can get that guy. You can? Yeah, he's points. Because he runs away. Get him. There you go. Uh, oh. uh, you wait till he jumps, you, then jump the other uh, way. No, I, I've played Hubert, <laughs> okay. and you know my feelings on it. So it's one of my most hated games. I really dislike Hubert. <laughs> it is! It is, and I mean nothing, nothing ill of of any uh, programmers, but it is my least favorite game of all the games. <laughs> I do not enjoy Qbert. I don't know if it's the weird diagonal movements. It is my most hated game of, mm. of that that school of games. I'm I yeah. See, I'm dead already. I um. It's using a mirrored. It's using a mirrored play field. Oh. Oh yeah, you can see the bottom row is mirrored. Then two up is obviously mirrored. But where is the mirror on that level? I have no bad guys. Mm. There we go. So the green. Greens are fine. Okay. okay. Anyway, that's enough of this one. <laughs> it's because you're holding the joystick wrong, Tanya. Probably. <laughs> that's probably. It. Probably. The rows. Most hated. With game. odd are mirrored. Okay. And on the outside and the updated on the fly in the middle. Okay. Yep. Go for it. Load it up. So this is um, an updated uh, Qbert made by mm. Silvio Mongo. He's That's unfortunately good. not able to join us in the chat because oh, okay. he lives in Europe mm. and it's in the middle of the night right now. Yeah. Um, this build is from January 6th. Uh, this is an unreleased world premiere of it. Um, I'll let you start going. Oh, it looks much nicer. Oh, yeah. Smooth Oh, he movement. moves faster, too. Do More you notice closer that? Closer to the arcade speed. Look at the enemies. Oh, they he's move. moving fast, too. They so actually So that move. guy's okay? Yeah. 
Oh, he's the one who who changes the color. Yeah, so they're troublemakers. Yes. So you have to kind of get them yeah. to get rid of them. I remember this now. Um, Look how fast he moves. Oh, the movement is beautiful. Voila, no gap. Yes, that is correct. Oh, it's slow. Oh, icy dude. Oh, I didn't know that's what he was doing. Okay. <laughs> okay, no. so I will read the instructions because I have not played a ton of Qbert. I know the Ugh. most of the concept. I think you can get him to stop him from doing ice stuff. If you if you land on him? Uh yeah. That's what I was trying to do. I don't think that's in the original game, that guy. I think he's added it in added him in. I don't so that, that yellow guy, guy was I've never seen before. Wrong too. way and ug, those guys are named that. One of them looks like a pig, and one of them does not. These two, two troublemakers start appearing in the third stage. Wrong Way appears from the lower left corner and proceeds to the right using left faces. Conversely, Ugg appears from the lower right and proceeds left. So that must have been Ugg, because he was in the right. Get that guy. Nope. And I, what, I knew by watching him play that you have to leave the snake over to those areas and de-ice them. Oh, the snake? Only the snake can de-ice them. Ugh. Those sideways guys are in the Coleco version. Ah. Cute. No! Oh, he jumped on me. Yep, wait for him to jump on one and then jump on the opposite one. Oh, that's it. Okay, so here's the instructions to sure. how to play Qbert. Do you really need instructions yeah. on how to play Qbert? Yeah. Qbert is Qbert. He jumps. <laughs> he changes the colors. <laughs> is that what it that's says? That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's what it says. Oh my god. Okay. No reading for me. Uh, the main character himself, Qbert, must bounce around each pyramid, uh, changing the top surface color to the gold color for the level. Qbert must not fall off any edge of the pyramid, nor should he come in contact with anything red or purple. However, Qbert can safely touch anything primarily green in color. And in a pinch, Qbert can jump off any of the rotating discs that hover to the s or jump on any of the rotating discs that hover on the side of the pyramid and ride no. them to safety to the top. Yes. And they're uh, actually wrote they're actual discs in this one, rather than flat. Balls. Red balls are the first obstacle that Qbert encounters. They rain down from the top of the screen and land on one of the Terrible. two blocks below the t the top cube. From there, they randomly bounce to the right or the left until they reach the bottom and drop off the screen. Any contact with Qbert causes him to lose one life. Beginning in the third stage, a green ball may appear and follow the same behavior as the red ball. However, if Qbert touches the green ball, time will freeze for a few seconds, allowing Qbert to jump around the pyramid in relative safety. Mm. The green balls are worth going out of your way to collect. Coily. Hubert's primary nemesis, Coily, is a big purple snake that bounces around the pyramid in an attempt to capture Qbert. However, Coily begins life as a purple egg. The egg falls from the top along with the red balls and descends to the bottom just as the red balls do. But unlike red balls, they rest on one of the bottom blocks until it hatches and Coily jumps out. As soon as he appears, Coily immediately seeks Qbert out and jumps in his general direction. The only way to remove him from the screen is to lure him near a disc and jump on to the disc when he is about to catch you. Um, he will jump after you and fall to his death, removing him from the board until the next purple ball falls from the sky. Now I'm on a double... double color one. Mm. Wrong Way and Ugg. These two troublemakers begin appearing on the third stage. Wrong Way appears from the lower left corner and proceeds to the right using the left faces of each cube as, as he steps. Conversely, Ugg appears from the lower right side and proceeds to the left. When they reach the opposite side, they leap off and disappear, but another will follow behind them. Contact with either of these two is deadly. The fact that you should avoid them is obvious, but... What's not obvious is the path that they will take as they traverse the pyramid. Since it's difficult to predict which path they will take, it's best to keep as much distance between them and Qbert as possible. To change it from red to a darker brownie red. Yeah. Come on with me! Slick and Sam. 
By stage four, the last of the characters make their appearance. Sl Slick and Sam are the two green creatures that attempt to undo the hard work that Cubert has accomplished by reverting their colors of the cubes. They jump on back to their original color. Oh my god. Since they are green, Cubert can safely touch them in order to remove them from the stage and def deter further color changes on their part. And then the disc. These are Cubert's only means of defense and his only offense. By jumping on any available disc, it will lift him to the very top of the pyramid and drop him off before disappearing. If Coily is close behind Cubert when he jumps on the disc, Coily will jump off the pyramid and disappear for a while. Yay. No new additional enemies will appear on the stage while Cubert is riding the disc, generally resetting the stage for your next trip down. I didn't do that. I did, but I didn't. I'm on level 2-4. Very strange way of... Oh, you... Oh, now I'm going to have to deal with that. Terrible. Ah! All these flashing things. You need a coily to get Yeah. <gasps> oh, That's no. my last one. Really, 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 really amazing mm -hmm. version of it. It looks really good. And compared to the last one, it plays really well. That color combo, yeah. The red and kind of brown yeah. was not a good color combo. Wow, was the arcade version this fast? I don't know, but it's a lot it was, faster than the other it version. Pretty, it feels really good. I think really it good. is fast, the arcade. Yeah. Is this fast. It's better because it you is. can move faster. Oh, the, much faster. The, the original 2600 feels so sluggish. Mm. It's like, yeah. Very cool. So I made to level 2-4. Oh, I don't know if I'll make that. Now, in the arcade... <laughs> in the arcade, when you died... Uh, when you fell off the edge the the machine had a pinball kicker in it you know when you get a, an extra game Ugh. in pinball yeah and it goes whack that's what it does when he falls off the edge in oh. Hubert they put a, a pinball kicker in it and it always scared the hell out of me <laughs> when you played it yeah yeah, yeah. Or, or other people were playing it it's like something smacking oh. the wall so good So, some hints uh, in this game. Uh, these aren't very good hints. Early in the game, there will only be two discs per stage. As you progress, the number will fluctuate, rising as high as seven in one board, but never lower than two. So do you get them always back at the end? Like, will it refresh to two again? Oh, it does. So it's, it's in your best interest to use them if you're in trouble. So it's the green ball that gives you some uh, invincibility uh, for a bit. Uh, uh, freezing time. Oh, no. oh, <gasps> oh it, it moved! moved. <laughs> yeah, it moved. Extra life at 8,000 points. So I don't know if he's implemented like all the little things yet. Mm. And every 14,000 points after, it's a default setting. Uh, as the game progresses, three things change. The speed of the game gradually increases, the number of characters you must deal with simultaneously increase, and the complexity of the level rules increase. Mm. In level three, jumping once a cube sets it to the gold color. However, a second jump will revert it back to the start mm. color. So it starts to become puzzly after yeah. that. It's like you can't just move anywhere you want after the level three. Did I make it to level three? I think I almost did. Oof, that was close. Is he going to follow you? Mm -hmm. Ooh, all the way to the top. Ooh, oh, away. not fast enough. Oh, oh. stop it. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah. Let's see. What other notes do I have about this? Um, so the programmer was tasked with using the synthesizer to produce English phrases for the game. However, he was unable to create coherent phrases and eventually choose to string together random phenomes instead. Theo also believed the incoherent speech was a good fit for the asterisks and exclamation marks. Yeah, it is cute. Does it have different options? No, not yet. In Cubert's speech balloon. 
Following the suggestion from the from technician Rick Tiger, a pinball machine component was included to make a loud sound when a character falls off the pyramid. Mm. The sound is generated by an internal coil that hits the interior of the cabinet wall. Foam padding was added to the area of the contact on the cabinet. <sighs> Developers decided to s the softer sound better matched a fall rather than a loud knocking sound. The cost of installing foam, however, was too expensive and the padding was omitted. Mm. That's why it sounds so crazily loud. Okay, now I see it. The target color is the same color as the score. Oh, that's smart. Okay, I was wondering whether he was going to include the target color somewhere. Mm. Um, but he's made it the score, which is brilliant to save space. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but oh, that's for the best. Yeah, there was a 7800 version uh, by the name of Bonk. Bonk? Is that how you say it? Uh, by the late uh, Ken Siders, who passed away in 2017. I have I briefly played it uh, today. Yeah. It is a really, really good version. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know if it's, it's for sale in the Atari Age store still. Let me see. Self-published. Hmm. Does anybody out there know if it's if you can still buy it somewhere, mm. or is it not available? It is still available. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to play or? I do. In one second. Okay. I'll find it. Let's see. Well, there it is. I, I always think you should be able to kill them when they're, oh, goodness, in the egg state. I think you should be able to kill anything in the egg state. <laughs> that makes sense. I think so. Yeah, because they're I, not I, hatched for, yet. For right? some weird reason, I thought you could, but maybe not. I haven't noticed, but on the arcade version and others, you want to try and not use the discs because you get bonus points between the levels. Yes, that's... Oh! oh see... I, I and then you would get extra lives That's based why on I the hate points. Hubert. I find the uh, the movement really weird. It's it very sensitive, and yeah. I, I had it on my Commodore sixty four. Yes. And and I meant to go up. Like it's it, it frustrates me a lot. Yeah. Can you reset? Yep. Uh, game reset. Yep. Yep. Okay. I do have have found a pattern. Oh yeah, there's definitely a, an approach. Oh, that's not good. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Some of the green guys are naughty. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how much you can get through. Really fast before the first yeah. guy gets down. Yeah, I in like the, the speed. I like the, the early speed levels. a lot. Oh, yeah. it's really... It's a nice... Everything's smooth, like the movement. Yeah, very smooth. Hey, you! Oh. Wrecking my... Work. Oh. Yeah, you guys are gonna love this if you it's love really Cuber. It's really good. Yeah. It's super really smooth. Well um, he's also, I believe, going to add an option so the levels don't flicker, because you can see the he's using um, a little bit yeah. interlacing between the two different uh, frames. Um, it's not. It's not bad. It's not distracting. Uh oh. I should have moved mm -hmm. fast. Do I? Can I get him? Yeah, but it's okay. Uh, this is going to be rough. Because you have to lead him around. Yeah, you do. Ugh. And this is where I end. Because <laughs> yeah. this is too... It's hard to get... I'll have to make it purple. Okay. There we go. Green ones. <sighs> ah, the controls. I know. It's why it's my least favorite game. He should sell a um, um, a pinball kicker with the game. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So that you can put it up against something and it smacks. 
And it goes into, I don't know, can I kill him? No. no. Just avoid him. Get him. You probably don't get as many points in bonus as you do for just... <gasps> mean! Those mean I think discs! It, it does indicate when it's going to change. Oh, I can do that. By flipping. Can you reset, please? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be right back. Sorry. Okay. Oh, my pattern. Ah! Oh. Should I rage reset? No. I'll deal with it. Oh, God, no. Oh, you can get him. They're just really fast. Just can't do anything about these last three. I have to wait. Literally have to wait for a snake. Beat him up. Ugh. Oh, and then a ball comes down. Now I have to wait for another snake. I guess there's no, no timer. How is that useful? At least I can wait here. There we go. I still like playing my old school VFD. I am looking out. Oh, come on. I am looking for a uh, Q-Bird VFD. Um, that's one I've been eyeballing. There's one in Vancouver that somebody wants to sell with a box. And I like, I'm like, I'll buy it, but I don't want the box. And with the box, it's very expensive. But if it didn't have the box, it would be, wouldn't be too bad. But of course, it doesn't want to sell it without the box. The box is really ratty and tattered. So I've never been able to buy it and I've never encountered another one. Locally. I mean, they're all online, all over the place, but... but what? That's so un... It came out of nowhere, like, instantly killed me. Should they not come on uh, from off-screen? Like, a little bit? Like, float in? Oh, the controls. You know what I need? I need a proper... What is going on up there? I need an arcade style joystick. I'm not a big of enough of a Qbert fan to do this, but what you could do is buy a joystick that it can lock in a 45 degree angle. That would be so crazy. I'm sure there's some hardcore Qbert uh, fans out there that are willing to do go to those lengths. Oh god. What was that? Dropping things. Mm -hmm. Cats follow you? Any cats coming? Oh, Tari. Oh, I see why he's following you. You have treats. That's one way to get cats is to bribe them. <laughs> get them on the uh, get them on the cat cam. That's how you get them on the cat cam. Oh god. <laughs> Who wants one? Who wants one? <laughs> Who wants one? They all want one. Hmm? What kind of tricks do we get? Do we get tricks? Oh, he didn't f go off. He's coming to kill me immediately. Look, look at that. If you Come don't on. lead him off the cliff, he just follows you he up to the top. No, he does follow you, yeah. Is that in the arcade? I don't know, but he does. He's That's pretty tricky. That's so unfair. Ah, and then I waited too long on that time. Oh, still have one my life. And I committed suicide. I do find the flicker of the cubes a bit distracting. So he is going to make one where it turns it off. So it is... I don't know what it'll look like without it shimmering. But um, probably look just fine. It'll look closer to the 2600 mm -hmm. version, though. Oh, there's this one here. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Right up here. Atari, right up here. Look, look. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that is a uh, Qbert. Mm. Um, it is... Looks great. Looks amazing. Yep. Incredible. And it plays fast. The animation is all there. The movements of the characters are all there. He has currently borrowed the um, graphics. Not the graphics, the sound from the 2600 version. Mm. So he is looking for somebody to help him out with sound. And I believe some people have suggested um, Ice Bosta and somebody else that has been previously worked on the sound for mm. Qbert.
for other attempts at uh, finishing it, but nobody has gotten this far. Yeah. Or uh, at this level of of completeness or smoothness to it. Mm -hmm. So, Silvio is going to post it very, very soon. Cool. So all of you can enjoy this version. Yeah. Um, Silvio should use my tunes. Oh, there's I supposed to right there. Yeah. So there was talk of that. So you should definitely um, talk to Silvio, go to his um, posts and get in contact with him because that would be incredible. I know I supposed to make incredible sounds. It looks good. And playing the old version in this one, you feel the difference playing it, which makes the gameplay so much better. It's it's really well done. Really well done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So now we're going to play Tap Em All. And tonight there's kind of a theme, if you didn't notice already. Mm. What is the theme? It is weird controllers or different <laughs> controllers. We the, Our first game was a two-button True. game. Yeah. Yeah. Second game was a 45-degree angle game. Yeah. And this game is a 24-button game. <laughs> it has 24 buttons, and it is the keyboard controller. Oh, sorry. I scared the cat with that noise. It's tap a mole <laughs> made by Koog. He's in serious uh, treat hunting mode right now. Oh, well, that's, that's why okay. he's very jittery. He's jittery. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Got to get those treats. Yep. Very jittery. Okay. So Moles. I'm going to um, plug in those after we reset because it's very hard to select games with keyboard controller. If not impossible, I believe. <laughs> See ya, yeah. S. Ramirez. Bye, S. Ramirez. Have a good night. This game is hilarious. It is amazing. Uh, I love it. People went nuts for it last time. Oh, I'll put it on the screen because it's <laughs> already going crazy. Oh, no. I think hopefully this works. Sometimes, don't you have to, like... We were having trouble with I this before, weren't we? I have to start it with the controls. Yeah. I remember having an issue with that. Because it goes a little crazy if you don't have the right things plugged in. Oh, no, maybe it's fine. Okay, and another secret to this is this. Masking tape. <gasps> the ha ha ha! Oh my goodness, wait, what's going on? <laughs> One second. Here, oh. give it to me. No, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to Stop me. Stop it! You have They're to do this. They're so cute. They have different faces. And that's a big update. <gasps> And they say ha 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 when they get away. <laughs> That's so friggin' cute. So you want to do this. Oh, it's so good. To your keyboard controllers. Oh, because so they, they don't do slide, slip. yeah. Yeah, so that's recommended. I'll let you play the one player game oh, first. I'm so terrible at this. Because he's implemented two player head to head in this now. Now, there are honey moles whose eyes are yellow that you don't want to hit. So be very careful. You don't want to hit the honey moles? No. Okay. No honey moles. No. Uh, new version of Tap a Mole, Lucky version 13, now featuring two player competitive mode. A, B difficulty. Honey moles, starting bell, sunrise, mole laughter, and gratuitous flowers. So he's added some flowers along. I like the gratuitous flowers. Plus a little bit of grass too. And the bell gives you a breathing spot so you don't have to immediately go into the next game, oh, which the is bell. excellent. Because it corresponds see? with see? Yep. With where you start. Yes. Oh my god. And we've got Kohog in the chat, so he's there so good. to answer your questions. Don't hit him, they're full of honey. Do they slow you down? <laughs> they do. They stop your hammer for a bit. <laughs> Messing ah, me ha, up. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Um, two player competitive mode. We'll get back to that. Um, A B difficulty. Ah, oh, no! So there's no penalty right now for missing. So you can switch it so there is a penalty. Um, you're, if you swing and miss, your hammer gets stuck, just like the honey moles. On the higher difficulty. Gotcha. <clears throat> honey moles, watch out. The moles have filled a sack with honey as a decoy. Hit this honey mole and your hammer will get stuck. You can spot the honey mole by its bright yellow eyes. My honey mole, don't DGAF. 
Uh, starting bell. Either player strikes the bell in the lower left hole to start the new game or round. Smart. And he said, phew, I feel like I'm just about done with this game. Ooh. It was hard to know when to quit, but I only have 11 <laughs> bites left of ROM. So it no. seems like I'm close. Oh, you hit the honey mall. Right now, the two-player game only uses the left side field. Oh. It bugs me that it's not centered, but to do that, I'd have to write a new kernel, and I'm not sure whether it's worth finding the ROM. I see. What do you think of the honey moles? Do they add anything? Yeah. I'm not sure. I think they do. They don't look as good as I'd like, but I'm a very oh, tight, no. very tight on time in my mole kernel. Yeah. <laughs> but are they fun? Maybe. Do they ever fool you, or do you easily avoid them every time? No. No. Sometimes... But you can avoid them. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. There's a balance. But you have to kind of pause and go. Oh, should I hit it? So you avoided that one. Um. Uh, or do you easily avoid them? Right now, the two-player game follows the same round structure as a single-player game, even though it's not really needed. But I'm also not sure if it's worth the ROM to take it out. I've become very ROM-conscious now that I only have 11 bytes left. I've decided since I posted that I have to center the field. What does that mean? Well, we'll see it when it's two-player, but he says only the left side is used, not the right for two players. Oh, I see, yeah. So it looks weird, and he mm. said he, she's going to center it now. Um, help needed. Anyone know an efficient way to auto-detect keyboard controllers? <laughs> if you don't have one in in white now, the game thinks someone is mash, mashing zero on the button. <laughs> I could test for that, but then I might get false positives if somebody does mash the zero button. There must be a better way. Mm. Anyway, have fun whacking moles, and please tell me what you think. I'll also put this version in the original post. Super cute, all the uh, the additions. Ugh. And it just looks so much better now with the flowers along the top. Yeah. He says he put in uh, no. the sunrise, so that must have changed along the top. The colors. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> your, your, your fingers shift and they're like, where are my hands? Uh. <laughs> That's what the... D-Train says all of the extra touches look terrific. Yeah, they hey, do. Hey, Flackets, welcome. Did they have faces before? Oh, yeah, yeah, they did. I don't remember the faces. Faces are so good because it's it oh. it looks like there's two colors on the same line. Um, I'm guessing he's using the ball for that. <laughs> yeah, I must be using the ball. I haven't analyzed it, but... Yes, the ball. Ding. He did post what his high score was. I bet it's insane. Let's see what it is. See if uh, see if you can beat it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> Let's see. Difficulty B, which we're on, uh, 3,069. So you're only 3,000 away. <laughs> oh, so hard. <laughs> so hard. The flowers are one of those touches that pushes it over the edge in a good way. I've always loved the way the moles get googly-eyed when you bonk them. Yeah. Like, this is a perfect example of finishing touches. Like, yes. Like the D train says, it's like you can make a mole bashing game where it uses one keyboard controller, and it's just blocks coming on the screen. Um, <sighs> but it's all these little things like the carrots at the bottom. Yes. The little little lips for the holes. The 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 look of the moles with the little little teeth. Um, the the fence at the top. The sunrise. The flowers. The ha ha ha. Um, just, just tons and tons of little touches and the shine on the bell too. Yeah. Like everything is so great about it. So is this your last person or? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, I always, I, I, my fingers shift and then it all goes, it goes to hell really quick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There we go. Damn it. So what happened? Yeah. It does slow you down. You oh, can't hit right away. So you can't I, do I your survived next hit it. Right away. Yeah. So I survived it. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Because you're, right. you're moving pretty slowly, so... Right. 
But I think everything gets exponentially high. It gets harder and harder, and oh, then when you die, it gets easier. Oh my god, look at all those honeymoons. And you start mashing. Ah. Ah. <laughs> mash, 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 Losing my spot. <laughs> It using is, my it home is. row. I think I think it speeds up at just the right pace that it becomes frantic really quickly, but it kind of scales back and moves forward so you don't it doesn't feel impossible. It kind of ramps back up a little yeah. bit like um uh the bomb one. Oh. oh the um kaboom. Kaboom where it kind of slows down and speeds back up. Right. It keeps the gameplay moving. It is so cute. This game is so awesome. Super cute. I'm waiting for all the mole, the mole puns, because we did so well last time with our our mole themed. Uh, oh god, day. I missed one. It, it gets it. it gets hard really fast. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> what did I hit? <laughs> three thousand? How'd you get three thousand? starting bell just because of how sad James gets when he has to get off the couch. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Not sad. Just disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> the bell definitely helps. I think and also it gives you a pause point. Yeah, yeah. It gives you a point to kind of pause. What? Yeah, you missed him. It gets hard so fast. Oh, you're doing really well though. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> To get into Smacking the mode. those moles. <laughs> Soon that keyboard controller will just be an extension of your hand. It's so good. It's so well done. <sighs> Got an extra carrot. <laughs> Bonus carrot. Yes. Disappointment is very Canadian. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. <gasps> Missed it. Or did I? Oh, I guess I didn't. Oh, there are a lot of honey honey uh, moles. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, too slow. You're so fast now. I'm not angry at you. I'm just very disappointed. <laughs> I'm not <gasps> mad. I'm just sorry. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just sorry. Ah! Oh, no. No! What am I hitting? No, 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 I missed it. Oh, I didn't. Whew, just got that one. Whew. This is a crazy game. No, no. There's so many buttons. 1556. It was way better that, than me. No, we'll do two no. Player, no. You, you play again. Oh, we should good. do the two player, yeah. That's that good. was that's that's <laughs> such a hectic game. Yeah. Great score, he says. Yes. Yeah, that was a good score. <laughs> that was a good score. Okay, two players. Oh nice. Just automatically you don't have to press reset. It just pops up the bell. You see that? Yep. Watch this. There so good! Go. Yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome! That's yeah, so awesome. It does look we just good. have to take off the tape. Yeah. This game does need a patch. Oh, this is a yes. patch game. And it better have a cute, bloody, the a cute, bloody mole on the front of that patch. Cutest mole ever. <laughs> oh my god. Get oh. in touch with um, 
uh, machine, uh, the guy who makes patches. Mm. Um, he is the guy you want to talk to. Um, he will make. He will get you an awesome patch. Okay, are we ready? So how does it work? I go and then you go. Is that we the idea? Just, we just go. I'm guessing. Oh, together. Ah. Is it who gets there faster? Yep. It's <gasps> <laughs> funny. So who who's on Wait, the right? You got eight. How did you get eight? Because I hit it millisecond before ah. you. Oh no! It does encourage you to go fast. I'm white. I'm I'm the white. Okay, hammer. so I hit the nine. I was nowhere near the three, and it showed up on the top there. There is something funny going on. Yeah. Because I, because my finger was nowhere near the three, like like it was down here. So I is does anybody know if there's keyboard controller testers oh, on the twenty six hundred? Oh, you think that it's a little off? I think that there's combos that we're pressing. Gotcha. That. If I press something and you press something at the same time, it'll actually press something else. Oh, okay. It'll show up as something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know of a keyboard 28. controller tester. That's so wrong. <laughs> 28. <laughs> You're just a little bit faster, oh, I think, than I am. Um, it's not wrong. You saw how, how no, big, no, big I my know. score was. That was oh, better. Now you're getting scores. <laughs> oh, how, how, how? That's so unfair. Quark says, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> I'll test for that. Yeah. yeah. There's definitely something a little funny there. But. Uh... Oh, actually, this is. You can test right now. Because can unless you? you ring the bell, it doesn't start. Are so good. Looks good. But that black flash, I'm not saying I hit it, but the black definitely flashed at the top. I was I was here. Where were you? I was there. Nine? Yeah. Well that's what I was hit just yours. testing. Can you just keep holding that down? Yeah, well, it seems to be. It was just weird because User error. my no, my <laughs> finger was nowhere near it, so User error. Maybe you have to hit them at the same time. No, it's okay. User error. Uh, maybe it was Tanya. I don't think so. Like, honestly, <laughs> my finger was nowhere near there, and I saw it flash at the top, but I don't know if that was the game rather than me hitting it. I'm going to try some combo buttons here. But you're holding mine, too. Like. Well, I have to... I can't coordinate it. Yeah, like I squeeze the plastic in a certain way. That's oh. definitely possible. Seems fine. It's getting all my inputs correct. Mm. It's fine now. Yeah. Uh, but but for sure, I, I was not touching that corner button. So. Tanya, I told you, you need to hold the control <laughs> diagonally. Look at this. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, no. Ready? Start at zero again. Love that you don't have to get out of your seat. So good. <laughs> like, almost exact same time. See, I, I yeah. have a bit of an issue. Yeah. My mallet is white, and yeah. my mallet's on the left. But my score's on the right, and my controller's in the right-hand side. Right? I'm white. Oh, I see. And I'm hitting from the left. It should be the reverse. I think it should be the reverse. Yeah. What do you think? I think that makes... Yeah, I yeah, think it does. It, it, it does make it a little confusing. At yeah. first, I was like, am I the black? I'm on the right. My score's on the right. Yeah. yeah. Good point, Quahox. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. I'm going to flip. Okay. You I'm think this one's see. defective? No, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> now it's going to confuse me. I'm black now. Oh, you have a head start, right? Okay? Oh, you think it's your controller? You think because 
I one gets priority. Oops. No, you're definitely beating me. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're definitely uh -huh. you're definitely getting there faster I than me. I see your tactic. No, that is a good point. You do have to. Um, um, Quahog, that is a very good question. Um, how do you manage when both people hit it at the exact same time? I was just curious. Do you both get curious. a point? Do you, or do you only test one controller and one ignore the other one? Or does it flip back and forth? Which sometimes because priority I've seen, goes back and forth if you hit yeah. it at the same time. Because yeah. I've seen games where it's like, oh, you're player one. You always no comment. Get it. No comment. <laughs> I don't want to recode he's, it. He's definitely beating me, which is fine, but uh, yeah, yeah. Because I've seen games where, oh, you're player one, you win every you time. You win every time. This every is not time. what's happening here. He's getting to it faster, but I was curious. It could still be that way, right? Um, I'm not. He's definitely more aggressive than I am when it comes to hitting it. <laughs> oh, you you won. Nine and nine. <laughs> that was with a head start. Yeah. I detect which player's James. Well, that's the... <laughs> yeah, exactly. so it doesn't ma matter. <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> uh, that's okay. How do you test for that? <laughs> it's the hand, the width, the hand size. The... It's the only fair way. <laughs> it is really. Oh, that's uh, that is so much fun though. That game is so much game. fun. Amazing game. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good game. So 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 good. Yeah, it's fun with the two, with the single player too. is very challenging, especially when you're dealing with the two hands. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yep, yeah, I think the honey ba the honey badgers, honey moles. He tests for hair. Are at the at the right level, like yeah, they're there. They're distracting. Yeah, they can and you go. Ah, ah. They you can like throw you off your stop game. Stop yourself. Yeah. And once in a while, you still go for them. Yeah. But it definitely is worth having them there. I It would be cool, and I know this is probably not possible, if the honey was on their head and the mallet stuck on their head. <gasps> but uh, I yeah, don't like know a, if that's a possible thing to do. A little do. layer of honey? Like, no. and it, it just stuck there. Because he's just changing the color of the ball. I know, the ball. I know, I know. Yeah. It's just his eyes. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be fun. Like, could you draw the ball one level higher so it, it uh, sticks out? I think I'm going to take out the carrots and round breaks. Are there carrots? Oh, the carrots are just sitting there. Oh, yeah, you could take out the carrots. Yeah. The round breaks. Um, uh, I don't no, think... No, I like the breaks because like you pause breaks. and restart. It is... I mean, one or the other person hits the bell, but at least it... Because um, you could play it where anybody can hit the bell. It's like, oh, you don't want round breaks? We're just keeping on going. We're going to keep going. I mean, it, it times it and it's more fair because whoever gets to the bell first might have a slight advantage. Yeah, the carrots don't mean anything, right? Or do they count down the rounds? Well, there's no rounds, right? Um, I guess the only thing... Yeah, the it, only It does get rid of carrots. The only funny. <laughs> thought, and again, I don't know if you can do this, Yeah. Um, is um, if the bell changed color so each person would get... The uh, chance to start the next round. Yeah. I, that, you because could. then it's even. You could. You could make the bell white um, or black. But, um, um, the shine black or, or white, but I think that's. I don't think it matters. It only too has much. eleven bites, so. Yeah. No, I don't think it matters too much, and you just the first pers first person to jump in, and it makes a noise, so you know it's starting, so it's not a big deal. Yeah. Oh, the round breaks makes the score escalate too. Mm. Uh, so it's not because it, it wasn't a straight 99 no, hits i think it should be just straight one 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 because it's a longer game that way i mean you were just destroying me but i was i was getting some score but i think if the mm. i think if the score just i think if the moles got faster but the score was still at like one up it would just le be a longer game that way mm. i think it was I long enough i thought it was quick Oh, I mean, too you quick? beat me. You beat me really <laughs> fast, but it would have been fun if it lasted a little longer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I don't know how much programming that. But would that take. also depends on the skill yeah. level of the two people playing, right? So. Yeah. Look at this guy. He's not usually like this. Oh, I coerced him into it a bit. Oh my goodness. He doesn't hate it though. After I coerce him. No, he's he's, he's sorry. Oh. This is yeah. Maybe both people need to hit the bell to start. Oh, yeah. so it registers one, one and then. two. Yeah. It's all up to. Kohog, how don't, much room he has left? You don't have to. You don't have to. It's, it's a, not necessary. It's, it can be an agreement it between the two really people well. where it's like yeah. one person yeah. hits it when you're both good. 
If it's too long, your fingers yes. will hurt. Yes, that is true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. I need to stay out of there because there's <laughs> a cable in there that's kind of iffy. Oh, he was being here. so cute. My goodness, well, he was being cute. He looked like he was being cute. It's deceiving. What do you think is the most important thing to do with those 11 bites? <laughs> Starting the game, <laughs> yeah. I don't think it matters too much. I think no. it, I think it, I think it plays well, through just me, fine. If you give me options of what can be done, then yeah. I'll let you know. But I have no yeah. idea what. But it works just fine, and and having either person start it Cent works really well. It centering keeps it, keeps it speeding. Centering that, yeah, is what you should use up the eleven bytes for, if you can. Centering it in the screen, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, not that it's essential, because mm. um, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, it plays really well. Like, these aren't complaints. They're just, you know, yeah. potential suggestions, and they, they, they're they not necessary. So yeah. it plays really well on its own. Yeah, the head-to-head -head is yeah. awesome. The it's single, really fun. Single player is awesome. It's really fun, yeah. Got the pixel! Yeah. Got the pixel on the screen. Hi. Hi. You're cute. So uh, let's take a look at the games we played Great today. Great games today. So much fun. Egg Venture. Yes. It takes a little getting used to the controls, but once you've got it's used to them... just getting that bat. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. That bat's a little challenging, but... That needs to be made easier. I don't know. No, because once I once I was watching you do it and I figured out how to control uh, it, I actually got over there just in time because he goes for the egg the moment you hit that screen. You just got to get to that screen. So yeah. it wasn't so bad. Me watching you play it, yeah. Made me think, okay, I know exactly what I need to do, and it wasn't too bad. But that's really hard, and then the rest of it isn't too bad. Yes. So still challenging. But that but was not and too that bad. was the easy. We didn't play the hard, so yeah. yeah. Quackers. New, New Atari, Atari mascot. mascot. I love <laughs> Quackers. Quackers. Is pretty good. The sprites are beautiful on that game. He they did such are. a good job with that little chicken. Oh, they are in the so ending. Cute. The animation and the yes. story is yeah. so good. Yeah. Um, Qbert is off to an amazing start. Yes. Incredible. Really, effect. really amazing start. I it's yeah. a full game. Like I think it's It really is already. Good. You could yeah. release it now and he people could. will be super happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as soon as he gets in the uh, voices, wow, mm. it's going to take it over the edge. Mm -hmm. And especially if you can turn off the flashing for people who don't like that. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like any flashing, like constant flashing yeah. in a game like that. Yeah. Um, it's already incredible. Mm -hmm. So people are going to go nuts as soon as he releases that. He's released videos so people can see it and they're like, wow. Um, and if he uh, sells a uh, pinball kicker <laughs> with every purchase mm -hmm. that... I could sell it in a box, <laughs> like just a box. I um, guess you'd have to put in, the problem is you'd have to put in the second control port and then you couldn't use the Atari box at the same time. So, but it'd be a fun idea just as a bonus. Look at this guy. He's very affectionate right now. It's and tap, very unusual. Sorry. And tap them all. Um, super awesome. We just, uh, just played it and uh, everything about it is it's Perfect. such a fun game. It's so cute. And I love the flowers, mm. all the little extras, the honey moles. Oh, it yeah. played really well before, too. And it now did. just a few little things in there. And it, it The addition feels... of the honey moles to it it's such is a great game. perfect. Yeah. It's not just hitting anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I don't hit all the time. Yeah. yeah. Flickr would likely make cubes look really odd, though, through my AV setup. That is really my only concern with the Flickr on Qbert. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good to have that option. Yeah. And, and he, he already stated he's going to put in that, that option. Oh, that's Take cool. off the flicker. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. There's probably nice ways to, to draw the uh, cubes without the flicker. Without the flicker, yeah. yeah. Fluffy cat, sorry. Um, so uh, we are back to two days a week, as far as I know, for now. Um, because there's lots of games to catch up on. People are making them like crazy now. Excellent. Fluff everywhere. Excellent. Um, so on Tuesday, I am hoping, we're hoping to play 7,800 games. I Either we're going to play 7,800 games that don't use the Atari Vox, or not the Atari Vox, the, the Pokey chip. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, or I get the Pokey chip. And we can play them, but I don't hold high hopes for it mm. unless he sent it express. I mean, we'll you see. never know. I, it's weird when you well, order solenoids stuff. Solenoids need a 24 volt charge in them. Maybe yeah. you could put in a capacitor to charge something up for a while and slowly trickle in 
the whatever it is five volts mm. that's outputting from the um second uh, joystick port mm -hmm. and charge up the capacitor and then go <laughs> bam yeah i bet you could do it you could do it that would be hilarious and you could put a little cubert uh guy on it or mm. put a different guy in each side of it <laughs> and make like it would be the cube Oh my God, that's so James, good. James, you have to make one of those. He has to do it <laughs> you, now. You have to contact RC and, and figure out a way to do a prototype. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. I didn't even think that. Yeah, it's a cube. Yeah. And it's digitized the sound playback from the cart. Yeah. The kick? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> if, if you've, I'm sure you've seen it, heard it in the arcade. It is violent, mm. that kick. Mm. It, nothing would replicate it, mm. but a kicker in a in a uh, wooden box just bam yeah it has to be done i imagine the wood box and knocked itself off a table yeah that's hilarious jumps it off so jumps good. off yeah 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 or it can make it jump yeah like the the it sits like this and it jumps and makes it jump up in the air <laughs> oh that's so funny so funny the cats would love it yeah <laughs> um what i have scheduled mm. for tuesday if it's possible um, yeah, I'll be wanting some recommendations soon for 7800 games, like the mm. best of the old 7800 games, mm. homebrews that are already out. Yeah. Um, what I've scheduled is uh, Popeye 7800, an exclusive update. Mm. I already have it. Um, but he can keep updating it as we go if it's postponed, um, because he's releasing demos, but I have the full version of it. Um, Arkanoid, which I haven't played, it's really nice, and it's a paddle game on the 7800, which is very cool. And EXO, which people have played a lot of, it's a spaceship flying through an interior cave like thing. Um, Solenoid would be too pricey for most of maybe it can be an add on, be like a uh, deluxe version, a limited deluxe version, right? Sell 20 of them or whatever, signed, you know, for fun, just for fun, yeah. Um, but I do want to play Moon Cresta, um, uh, definitely, because a lot of people are comparing his new game that he's put out. What was it called? Let's forget. 7800 game that he put out recently. Anyway. Somebody will post it. EXO can only be played via emulation and Dragonfly card. Ugh. Boo. Unawars, yes, that's it. That's it. I uh, couldn't think of it. But yeah, um, people are saying Mooncrest is like Unawars, which Bob made both of them. So nice. maybe I'll play Mooncresta mm. instead of uh, EXO, because we can't play EXO till I get mm. my Dragonfly. He, uh, The numbers are moving down, so I'm almost at the point where... You're going to get a Dragonfly. I'm going to get the Dragonfly. Nice. Yeah. And the Dragonfly can play much bigger games. Like mm. Really, really big games. Nice. Like EXO. Um, so, looking forward to that. Cool. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, there's tons of 7800 yeah. games to play. You're going to have a, a big library, I think, to, yeah, and I'm to not, go through. Yeah, I'm not too keen on playing emulation on mm. the stream when I don't have to. Yeah. No, yeah. that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, mm. next Friday, big, big, big uh, show will be... Not only announcing the nominees, but playing the nominees. Nice. I, I'm so excited for that part. Yeah. When we'll you're be playing, playing the best games. The 2600 work in progress games mm -hmm. um, as the first batch. Possibly more, but at least. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit because there's more categories now. Or maybe not because most of them just doubled. So, um, yeah. 2600 work in progress. Um, the completed or the work in progress, original and work in progress um, ports. So that'll be fun. Um, Astro Blaster is arguably what Mega Mania was based on. Mm. Ooh, okay, I love Mega Mania. That's awesome. When are you going to start playing uh, games from the new Atari VCS? Mm. <laughs> Never? <laughs> because they're just modern games. They, yeah. they have nothing yeah. to offer me. We you are, can, you we can play them on Steam video on that weren't we um i watched some i've watched some videos on the v, some vcs mm -hmm. games they have a couple of original uh, games game, not original um exclusive games yeah for the vcs 
they look okay. Yeah. They're fine. Um, I'm way more interested in the Amico, which is more yeah. geared towards retro enthusiasts. Yeah. Because they have simpler games, like a lot, lot simpler than they're not doing 3D games. They're all 2D or 2.5D games. Yeah. So I'm much more interested in the Amico no than, yeah. than the VCS, which 99% of the games on the VCS can be played on Steam or somewhere Steam else. For yeah. cheaper. Yeah. And you don't have to buy yeah. a new box, yeah. even though the box looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't think anybody disagrees with I'm, the design. Very few people yeah. disagree with the design. Yeah. It's super awesome. Yeah. And at some point, I hope that everybody hates them <laughs> and is sick of them and starts selling them for $15 or so whatever. So you can play with one? Yeah. So I can rip the guts out of it and put in a, um, a retro box <laughs> and emulate Atari games Ouch. on it. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Some systems went like that. Some mm. systems just like the bottom fell out and nobody cared about them anymore mm. and you just snapped them up. Mm. Um, like uh, the Nintendo um, Virtual Boy. I remember when those oh, hit yeah. $10 each. Yeah. And the local game store was just had dozens of them for $10 each. And I'm like, that system's terrible. I'm not buying yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. And I still don't really regret that yeah. either. Because <laughs> there's only like two good games on it. Yeah. And the rest just hurt your eyes. Yeah. yeah. There's some good, uh, I think some good homebrew on it though. Space Duel. That's an oldie, but you don't see that get much attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm... I'm I think I've literally exhausted almost all the 2600 homebrew at this point, mm -hmm. going back. Except for things that are just like hacks of demo, mm -hmm. like how to learn how to make 2600 games. And they've just, it's a thing that, sh the Tinkernut, I think it's called the Tinkernut demo. And all they do is change the graphics and it's just a little, little guy at the t bottom yeah. shooting a missile at a guy coming down to the bottom of the screen. Okay. There's like hundreds of... I just learned how to program <laughs> yeah. using this demo. Yeah, yeah. And there's lots of those. So yeah. I, I haven't played those. Anything that's kind of worthwhile. Well, that's 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 really just a. It's not really a game. Like it's it's no, just, it's, a it's, test. it's a exercise really more than anything else. Vectrex yeah. homebrew show. Oh no. yes, yes. I, we need to do that. I have not. I've been tempted. It's a. It's complex. You just have to figure out how to image it. I guess, in the best way possible. Uh, the difficulty with that is filming it, mm. and you you pretty much have to film it in the dark mm. or very low light, so there's no reflection off the screen. Mm -hmm. You have to have the camera pointed straight at it or close to straight at it, yeah. but at the same time be able to see the screen. Can you... So can it's you challenging to do that. And I've, film the screen and watch... Play using, or is that too much delay? Play using the image of it. No, I could have an HDMI out from my camera yeah. go to the TV. And yeah. it should be real time. As long as it's fast enough, you can play off that. Yeah. It, it, no, yeah. It, it would be real time. So yeah. I, I, I'd be fine. You would. Yeah. Off this camera. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that would be my only thought, is you play it, you're not watching that, you're watching it on the screen that's being recorded. That would definitely be the only Vectrex homebrew st <laughs> streaming show. You should try it Just sometime. add that to my, the only 2600 and well, 7800. Yeah. Um, no, but, but that would be really cool. Flickr is not a problem. Yeah. Um, because you just get the right settings, the right... Um, um, capture settings? Yeah. Or capture settings. It's, yeah. it's about the exposure time. Yeah. You have to match it so it's not... A dot moving around the screen. Yeah, it's literally, you could get it that. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or it's not too long that it's just a mushy, blurry mess. Mm. So you have to get it kind of matching the mm. phosphor die off. Um, and that's just camera settings. Mm. That's not hard. Um, so yeah, you don't know how feasible is yeah. until you do it. Until you try. Lots of people have filmed the Vectrex. I have seen people film those games. So it's not a problem. But they're usually awful, and I have a feeling you could do a better job. <laughs> yeah. 30 frames and 60 frames. Uh, my camera has lots of settings. It's mm. a, you know, prosumer camera that I've filmed proper projects on. <laughs> it's yeah. a 4K you've camera. Bought, you've bought for professional film. For professional yeah. use, yeah. and I have so a, a very bad. decent very decent lens that you're seeing us on. Yeah. It's a prosumer Canon lens. Yeah. Um, so it's not bad. There's lots of settings yeah. that I can use. Yeah. Um, so maybe I'm not really inclined to do that mm -hmm. because they're, 
is very good Vectrex. Actually, Vecroli has not put out a, a video in a while. In like a year now. Oh, really? And he used to be the guy. Yeah. He got everything er as soon as possible. Yeah. And I guess he just gave up. Yeah. <laughs> Vectrex Show. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. We should try it. We should try Ev it. Let's say eventually. Eventually. I, uh, well, let's just say. Because I have say, a ton of Vectrex homebrew yeah. and I have a, a Vectrex it, SD it, card. It as might well, be so. post. Um, um, Atari Award show. Oh, Like yeah. in the future, yeah. It, oh, yeah. Because we got a lot to do in the, well, in only the inter one, interim. There's only one show left before all the Atari yeah, stuff Yeah, that's starts. what I mean. Like, yeah. it, it would it would be off in the future, but... Way, I think be way, worth way off it in the future. It would be worth trying. It'd be fun. I, yeah. I, I, Vec Vectrix is such an interesting system, so... He still gets everything as soon as possible. He just doesn't do YouTube anymore. He's very active on the Vectrex groups on Oh, Facebook. I see. Okay. Yeah. I didn't notice him on the Vectrex... Uh, groups i mean i don't they don't pop Freak up as with much them as much yeah. because i don't interact with them as much yeah. but i do watch them hi arena foot you're mm -hmm. here for the last five seconds <laughs> now we're going no. um I have, I have an sd card so i can play just about everything except mm. for the super exclusive things that aren't released in binary and the ones that use that super rare i can't remember what the name of the card is and that that 10 were made and nobody has them and mm. they're not making any more of them uh maybe yeah <laughs> maybe Vec in the future <laughs> Vec fever there it is yeah. everybody we've got some vectrex fans yeah, here yeah yeah oh vectrex is just so cool yep it is i love yeah. it it's so unique um hashtag Vec fever, Vec fever. yes <laughs> it's a new one yeah a lot of pie tracks um posts oh, coming up okay where it's a board that you can plug a pie a uh, raspberry pi into and it mm. does the processing of, oh, of the game of, of how the old games used to play all the logic so it's yeah. very similar to well there is an arm chip on mm -hmm. <laughs> the raspberry pi so it's it's very similar to um cdfj games mm -hmm. with the extra chip and yeah it's offloading it onto a raspberry pi that fits nicely into mm. it expensive yeah, Vectrex is a very expensive hobby to get into. Luckily, mm -hmm. I'm done. I've collected all of the them. The ones that you I, want. That yeah. I want, except <laughs> yeah. for the $5,000 ones. Yeah. Vectrex I've trained. <laughs> Vec Fever owner here. Yeah. I, I suppose to. Very lucky. Yeah. There's this one game that you can hook up two Vectrexes together and yeah. play them head to head <gasps> using the second controller port. Oh, cool. And I've always thought that would be very cool for two Atari 2600s to do that. Mm. Um, but they're already kind of working on over the internet mm. with um, the VEC Plus, but not the VEC Plus, um, the Plus card. Yes. Um, so the beginnings of that have happened. I don't think it's progressed much. I haven't heard too much about that. Remember when we did that with Darcy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Played combat over the internet. Which didn't really for work. For like two <laughs> seconds. And it, went, it got, but... it went, woo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the there's one more non- Atari Homebrew Award Show mm. on Tuesday, and then it's all Atari Homebrew Award nominee shows leading up to the award show. And I have posted a thread, a public thread, about the Atari Homebrew Awards in the Atari Age forums. Mm. If you want to look at it, comment. There's not much there yet because there's no nominees yet. Nothing to say. Yeah. But uh, there's there's something there you can talk talk there if you like. Mm. Yeah. Um, and this weekend I'm going to be working on the 7800, uh, doing the last little bits because I've got all the pieces, all, pieces. all the pieces to kind of clean nice. up the inside of it, mm -hmm. um, and get that working. And, uh, yeah, so the next show will be 7800, probably either one way or the other. Mm. Um, I'll just play games that either are with the pokey chip if I get it or not with the pokey chip if I don't get it. Um, I'll be working on testing out two RGB kits for the Intellivision. Mm. That's another project I have. I have an RGB kit um, for my Intellivision. Mm. So I'll let Crossbow <laughs> 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 work it out first. If mm -hmm. you could um, uh, post very good instructions of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's now that I've done my upgrades to the 7800, I feel a, a little lot, more confident. In, in a the lot more confident. And all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, because I did some pretty, pretty intricate soldering. Now I've got a new soldering gun, which works a lot better. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, uh, you got for Christmas? Got it for Christmas. From, yeah. um, your brother. The nominated kid committee does take bribes. 
<laughs> yeah, that isn't in the rules yet. Yeah. No. <laughs> Got to put Gotta that for next that year. In. Yeah. Next year's rules. <laughs> no bribes allowed. You have a frame uh, Meister, so you're likely good, but the current RGB for the Intelli doesn't work on the OSSC. I'm hoping one of both mm. of these will. Oh, okay, so that's what you're testing out. Very cool. Yeah, frame Meister is quite a piece of equipment. It is very nice, and that's why I saved up for it, because... It's, it's worth it for what you're doing. It's with high the level. Yeah, it is. The other things kind of don't have a lot of settings. They're kind of, they expect a certain output. Yeah. And they can, can't deal with a lot of different inputs. Yeah. Um, this one re deals with it a lot better. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's enough blabbing for now. Yeah. Mermaid Actually, only, we're only at two and a half hours, so that's not bad. Um, and I'm trying to cut down the number of games this year. Um, playing. Hmm from six <laughs> on a show and going four hour shows to three games okay and playing though a little longer a little longer on those games and exploring yeah. them more i think i and think keeping the show to like two two and a half hours i think three to four is good i think it also depends on the game because some games are like oh, mini yeah. games and that's a totally different thing yeah you don't want three mini games um but but i have to admit you can see my my irritation level go up as as yep. as we're hitting like the the three hour Past mark. three hours, she shuts down. Yeah, I do. I, and turns and, into a pumpkin. Uh, I do, and and uh, I've said this to him before that I I don't last much longer past three hours. That's a good and reason. It's, right? it's not <laughs> that I don't enjoy doing it, but my energy level just just drops. So yeah, um, it's it's hard to to have things to talk about after a while too. Yeah. Um, hi. So the three games we played today, I hundred percent recommend all three to download when they're available run to your local store and buy them they're, <laughs> they're all great adequate. they're all great games shorter shows good idea yeah. yeah i think that works for everyone yeah 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 yeah, yeah. some people can't stay up late yeah they don't want to watch it we take forever to play them <laughs> <laughs> and you get through the games quicker too so yeah. people waiting for the second or third game yeah they get to see it before they have to they pass out <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway Oh, yeah, Atari. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us mm -hmm. once again. And welcome to the new year. Mm -hmm. uh, year four, almost. I think we started in February. Oh, the sparkly, yes. The sparkly. Uh, We're going to end by sign. turning on the sparkly sign. Are we? Okay. So all of those who missed it can see it. Always more wine. That's right. Should we put it on put solid? Put on solid. I don't like the flashing as much. I think the solid yeah. looks looks better. That's there great. Go. Yep. So... Turn the lights and, out so you guys can see it. Well, thank you, Dan. Good games, good show. Thank yes. you, Nathan. There we go. No more Galaga poster. No, we'll have it well, back. I'll put it in the corner. Yep. So it'll still be visible. Yep. A little bit up. And there might be something smaller underneath because this is kind of bare. Or I'll put like a little... You can adjust that up too yeah. and put something beneath it. That was just using the uh, the original hook. So yeah. yeah, need a white screen. There we go. Now you can see us a little bit. Yeah, no, <laughs> but then it reflects in the. Uh... That's fine. <laughs> Let's move it around. Oh my. Oh oh, can I get? Oh, that's better. Oh nope, down oh, down down. Oh, oh. There you go. There. It's like our own light. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's funny. No that flashlights is... under your chin. Yeah. <laughs> of course. No, no. I don't need that. <laughs> okay, so that's it. <laughs> that's it for today. Um, we'll be back on Tuesday, yes. uh, same time, and it's to be time for ghost stories. That's right. Time. Very, very spooky. Uh, so six p.m. Kitten. Kitten. Yeah. This is when the black mirror part of the show starts. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, look at you. That's always fun. Yeah. Lens flare. Woo. We're in an action movie. Okay. Okay. So, good night, everyone. Michael Bay. And uh, yeah. Michael Bay. That's yeah. the name I was looking for. <laughs> Michael Bay film. No, what's the Star Trek one? Oh, I don't know. Oh, but Michael Bay does yes. it in all the Transformers films, too. Yeah. So, but this, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, global Twitch plays. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> and we will see you on Tuesday. So we'll see you next time. JJ yeah. Abrams, thank you very much. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Good night.